um, and ultimately found a way to just hunker down and get after it on the ground. Uh, and that opened up some things for the passing game. Speaking of hunkering down on the ground, SMU just rolled in for a go-ahead touchdown. Back and forth they go in College Park. SMU and Maryland uh, on a Saturday night. Good one there if you like offense. Certainly. Miami, Texas A&M underway. Uh, EJ and I were just talking about uh, this during the top of the hour break. I grew up a Miami Hurricanes fan. Uh, I, I, there was just something about, well, I mean, A, they won a lot. Uh, B, you know, when I grew up on Long Island back in the early 80s when I kind of became a college football fan, I just... The following is an exclusive presentation of Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. Pirate fans, welcome to the U.S. Cellular 5th Quarter Postgame Call-In Show. Brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Be sure to visit one of ECU graduate Brandon Tate's Platinum Certified U.S. Cellular stores and experience the highest standard of customer service. Call in on the live line at 317-1250. Now, with a complete recap of the game and your phone calls, live from the Pirate Radio Studios, here's your host of the U.S. Cellular 5th Quarter, Clip Brock. All right, Mike and Mike, shake hands at midfield. Mike Houston. And Mike Minter, after a 49-10 East Carolina victory tonight at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Shaky first half, but as they've done all year, East Carolina dominates the second half. They dominate on the ground, uh, and they win once again a lot of the uh, UBE stat sheet. Great individual uh, performances tonight for the Pirates. going to be tough to pick a player of the game, so we'll talk about it all here on the U.S. Sailor fifth quarter call-in show, Billy Pirates moving to 2-1 and one on the year. And doing it in an impressive fashion, 49-10 is the final one penalty by the Pirates. They're showing the final stats right now on the ESPN Plus broadcast. That one stands out. Man, that's awesome. Only one penalty by the Pirates. Statement uh, made by ECU going into a big game next week at home against Navy. We'll talk about this one coming back. Record-breaking night for Holden Nailers. we got a lot to talk about on the fifth quarter, and we'll do it after this. Welcome to US Cellular, where new and current customers choose any phone they want for free. Free? Even the one with 5G and lots of storage? Free. And the one with the latest everything? Free. At US Cellular, any phone you see is free, whether you're a new or current customer. US Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Terms apply. See uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for US Cellular since 1997. Visit AtlanticWireless.com to find the store near you. We go beyond the call. So, how does show points work? Well, at Jersey Mike's, six regular number 13s plus three giant number 7s equals a free regular number 13. So, right. Pepsi and Lay's now earn more points towards free subs. That adds up. Exactly. Download the Jersey Mike's app and earn rewards towards free subs with every sub, Pepsi, and Lay's you purchase. So, how does show points work? Well, at Jersey Mike's, six regular number 13s plus three giant number 7s equals a free regular number 13. So, right. Pepsi and Lay's now earn more points towards free subs. That adds up. Exactly. Download the Jersey Mike's app and earn rewards towards free subs with every sub, Pepsi, and Lay's you purchase. Will the you of tomorrow be happy with the you of today? It all depends on the decisions the you of today makes. For instance, the you of today has an excellent career opportunity with Delcor Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. The pay is great, very competitive with other HVAC companies. Plus, you could get a $1,500 sign-on bonus. The you of tomorrow will enjoy some time away because Delcor also offers paid vacation. Most HVAC companies don't. And since the you of today has some experience, Delcor might just hire you on the spot. Spot. Delcor is hiring 12 experienced HVAC and plumbing professionals immediately. You must have a valid driver's license, ability, and desire to work, and legally eligible to work in the U.S. Delcor offers a sign-on bonus up to $1,500, plus one of the best benefits packages in the industry, including health insurance, paid vacation, and retirement options. Learn more at DelcorInc.com. That's D-E-L-C-O-R-I-N-C.com. The U of tomorrow will thank the U of today for getting a job at Delcor. Delcor is an equal opportunity employer. UBE and PirateWear.com is excited to offer Pirate Nation the largest selection of new ECU merchandise and tailgate supplies ever. UBE has the best prices in town, so that makes UBE your one-stop shop for all things ECU. UBE does daily restocks of Champion, Adidas, and Under Armour. Don't forget to bring your young pirates in to plunder the Crow's Nest, which is the only kid store dedicated to ECU. Plenty of free parking uptown in Greenville. Visit them at PirateWear.com. Go Pirates! 
Are you ready for some football, Pirate Nation? Bud Light is America's favorite light beer and the official beer of the ECU Pirates. When planning your fun times this football season, be sure to pick up some Bud Light at your favorite retailer. Bud Light carefully brews their beer to be perfect for anywhere there's fun. Because when there's fun, Bud Light is there. Get ready to have fun this season, Pirate Nation, and always stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. This is Coach Steve Shankweiler, offensive line coach for East Carolina University football. And you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call-in show. Here's Clip Brock. Welcome back in to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter call-in show. Thanks to Parker's Barbecue for the postgame grub. I've already had some barbecue, some slaw. Brunswick's two, uh, two corn sticks, and uh, yeah, piece of fried chicken, chicken wing. So mm. I've had the uh, the family style. Parker's Barbecue has our crew always ready to go. A chicken, seafood, a barbecue. Parker's Barbecue, three locations in Greenville to serve you. Billy Weaver skipped the uh, chicken and barbecue. Man, went I went for the right dessert. for the pudding. Yeah, and you got it. Yeah, I got and it. And he took it down. Oh my gosh! Took it to yes. the hit heaven all right uh shirley rhodes the chan man we are all here ready to hear from you after this one east carolina big winners tonight 49 to 10 over campbell and we have lines locked and loaded so we go to uh we will hear from monica boshak and drew in a moment quentin is up first in aiden hey quentin hey man how y'all doing tonight great doing good man good hey great win for the pirates i'm gonna keep it short you know congratulations to holton we are lucky to have him on our team and just want to say shout out to the fans for coming out because it was a good crowd tonight and i'm glad to see that look forward to momentum coming up all right quentin appreciate it man there's quentin and aiden if you uh call in make sure you have your radio down there's a bad echo in the back but appreciate you calling in tonight on the fifth quarter billy you wanted to uh and chandler and i noticed the same thing uh shout out to the pirate crowd tonight. man the pa- the pirates really showed up tonight you know i talked about that on the pregame show that it just felt like the tailgate area was hopping there was a lot of people there something you wouldn't have seen la- even last year with a team like campbell coming in town i you know like i said in the pregame n- not taking anything away from campbell um, but typically, those aren't games that draw big crowds, especially if you're not winning. This year, man, the crowd was there. It looked jam-packed um, in the tailgate area, and everybody got into the stadium. The stadium looked great. Shout out to the Pirate fans. And I tell you what, I expect a huge crowd coming up uh, next weekend against Navy. 317-1250, Merrick said, I didn't think ECU would cover. That's probably the most impressive part. And uh, hey, East Carolina, yeah. 3-0 and against the spread. They are uh, a money team right now, covering the 32-and-a-half against Campbell today. I do have to say, I, I got to admit this, I was talking to somebody before the game, and I said, if I were a betting man, I probably would have took Campbell plus the 30 because – I don't know. I just had a feeling that East Carolina, you know, 30 points is a lot. Man, they proved me wrong, and I'm glad they did. Well, you know, it looked like that in the first half, but guess right. what, Billy? Right. There's they, two halves. There's two halves. There's two halves. And I'll go ahead and throw out a stat on the UB stat sheet. I compiled the numbers earlier, and I believe this was uh, after their final touchdown. East Carolina has outscored opponents 64-13 to in the second half this wow. season. Wow. 64-13. to Very impressive. Not how you start, it's how you finish. We go to Drew in Asheville next. Hey, Drew. Hey, guys. How you doing tonight? Doing great, man. Yes, sir. So that would be a stat, 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 stat to consider. Yes. Thank you for that, <laughs> Drew. Yes. Well done. All right. Um, I'm going to go with a um, long-time listener here, you know, Shout out to Holton, um, breaking all kinds of AAC records. Um, you know, and it's good to see a hometown hero possibly bringing back uh, East Carolina Pirate football. Um, so p- kudos to him, breaking records and doing what he wanted to do as an individual. Um, second shout out, Marlon Gunn. I think we're going to look nice and pretty with him moving forward. Um couple improvements on defense. I think, you know, secondary needs a little bit of work. Tegan Wilk laying the wood. I love it. Um, so, I don't know what else to say. You know, kind of look like a, um, you know, 
Charleston Southern game from last year, but I think the guys regrouped and first, other than the first two drives, they handled their business, went about their game, and that's all I got to say. Go Pirates and uh, beat Navy, right? That's what's up next. Thank you, Drew and Asheville. I'm interested to see who the callers call out tonight, shout out tonight, because, again, just so many stars, yeah, right so on. many directions you can go. And uh, Drew uh, hollered out a few there, but uh, so many tonight, Billy, coming up with big individual efforts. And I meant to pick C- – and I know I say this, and you guys go, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. But I meant in the pregame show to say – I was looking for C.J. to have a big game. C.J. Johnson did have a big game. And he started, as a matter of fact, I think he had the first catch of the game, and then from then on, he was just – he was electric. He, he played really well tonight. Shirley Rhodes did have C.J. having a big game, right? There you go. So uh, that is exactly what happened. That toe-tap touchdown, that oh, was wow. right in front wow. of where Chandler and I were sitting. And I thought at the time, like, yeah, maybe that foot was uh, in the air when he caught it, and then replay. It was fun to watch the whole team out there on the field. Right, right. Uh, watching the replay on the big board. All right, let me go to – this is our um, quick hitter three points guy. Let's see if he keeps it going tonight. Bo Shack in Brooklyn. What's up, Bo Shack? You already know how I keep it, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. But I want to apologize if you can hear barking in the background. My dog Fred is going wild. Okay. Starting off with number one, though. I was really shocked how we came out. I thought we were going to lose that game up until halftime, but we made some great adjustments, and we were back playing pirate football in the second half. Number two, like the previous college before me, I got to congratulate my man, Hope Nailers. Such a big accomplishment that young man had tonight. And number three, Go Pirates. <laughs> All right, Bo there you go. There's the uh, the the three points from tonight. Am I on, Shirley? Yeah. All right. We can, I can't hear. Hey, oh, we're, we're, back. We're, we're back. And we're back. All right. Uh, we, we, we went dark here for a second. Let's go next to Monica in Greenville. Hello, Monica. Hey, guys. What a game. What a game. Um, hey, I'm glad you talked about shout-outs because that's all my list is tonight is the list of shout-outs for tonight. So shout out to Isaiah Winstead, who did have six receptions, and he had over 112 yards. Um, That was pretty awesome. And then right behind him, you know, C.J. Wilson was right behind him with five receptions at almost 100. He had about 91 yards on the night. And then on the ground, you know, Keaton Mitchell had 185 yards. So just an incredible performance um, from the Pirates. And let's don't walk past Owen Daffer, who was 7 for 7. So he's got a little muscle memory in the leg, and then the Pirate fans were just awesome. The crowd erupted every time he nailed his PAT. So, you know, the Pirate fans are also on my all-star list tonight. We also watched uh, Chance Bates tonight get a pick. He got the pick of the night, and Jalen Johnson got his first career touchdown as a, as a Pirate. Um, and then just Shout out to the entire discipline team for only one penalty on the whole night for five yards. That's pretty amazing. And I'm just going to end it by saying, you know, Holton Ayler is getting the American Athletic Conference record for passing yards leader is pretty awesome. I think he's going to go down. He's going to break a lot of records uh, coming up this season. Uh, He's going to go down um, as the person with this program who is the steadfast leader who actually was instrumental in helping us and Houston turn the program around. So it's just interesting. The past four years, he took a lot of hits, a lot of criticism. It was local politics. That's the PA announcer. Uh, and now we're seeing his rightful place in pirate history. But a lot of great positives tonight. It was an all-star night. Um, there are a lot of things we can put on our bingo card tonight. So uh, looking forward to a great program. And as always, the fifth quarter is my favorite quarter. So go Pirates. Let's beat Navy. They're 0 and, 0 and 2, I think, and going to be hungry for a win. So we cannot look past Navy. Monica, great call as always. Uh, she gives credit to Owen Daffer, as she should. Credit to uh, those lines, uh, Billy, the the lines for the uh, field goal unit and the extra point unit for giving Owen some space to kick. That was an issue yeah, last week. Yeah. and they uh, they took care of that this week. Also on that Jalen Johnson touchdown on fourth and eight, uh, I'll, I'll give credit to credit to Donnie for drawing up a beauty. I don't know if it was a blown coverage or what, but 
But to have Johnson that open and oh, Hayler's put yeah. it right on the money, beautiful play. And uh, we'll have to revisit it, ask Holden what happened on that play. But to have him that open, uh, somebody did something yeah, wrong. Yeah, I, I think that's busted coverage <laughs> yeah. on defense. It has to be. They just weren't expecting that. I think it surprised them a little bit. Uh, a couple other points that Monica made. Um, Isaiah Winstead, uh, you know, when he made that big catch in the third and stayed down on the ground, it was a big first down catch. And I thought, uh-oh. And he actually went over to the uh, Young's. Um, physical therapy tent and went inside and I thought mm, that's not good but then I think next offensive series he was back on the field made yeah. another catch he was and, back a couple plays later yeah so he, I mean he he was good that was nice to see but Monica did say something about Holton Ayler's dad I think is a PA got like I haven't heard that like He's I haven't from Pennsylvania I want well, no, yeah I don't know I've never heard that from like the um the TV crews haven't mentioned that or any. Have you heard them mention that? I can't believe we're in the fourth quarter <laughs> and the guy mentions it. I guess I know, you have I to know. get it in every game for the new audience. I, I have not watched a game this year, and sometimes it's the same announcers that are saying the same thing that, you know, he's the hometown guy, his dad's the PA announcer. I think everybody knows that by now. Well, hey, maybe there was a new <laughs> Pirate fan. New Pirate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's get one more before we take a break. Cameron is up in Greenville. Hey, Cameron. Glip, how about them Pirates, baby? Listen, I want to say shout out to the fan base, the Pirate Nation. Way to show out. I um, also want to say I'll give a little bit of props to Campbell. They came ready to play. They got some big dudes on that Campbell team. So I think they can win a lot of games there in the FCS. But uh, glad we got the job done. Keith Mitchell, what a what a freaking player, guys. He is he is unbelievable. I mean, what a player. We, I'm so thankful we have him on the team. Old Nailers, what a player as well. I mean, I could list go through the list of people previous callers had already named them. All I got to say is this, guys. We play Navy next week. We're two and one. We play Navy at home, who we've struggled against at home. I want everybody, bring a friend, tell your friends, bring a service member, pack Dowdy Fixum Stadium next week. We have another primetime game, 6 o'clock, night game against the midshipmen. We need to come ready to play and ready to commit war crimes against the midshipmen next week, boys. I want, after that game next week, I want them to call the Geneva Convention on us for war crimes for what we're going to do to Navy. Show out, Pirate Nation. Let's get ready to play and let's beat the midshipmen. Go Pirates. All right, there it is, Cameron and Greenville with the battle cry. Uh, you know how many how many times ECU's beat Navy at home, right? Uh, I'll, once, I'll, I'll save it. Once, zero. Zero? Zero. zero. Never. Oh, I thought they. I thought they had won one. Nope. Never. None. I, yeah. Zero. Zero. No, I, I do Nada. remember. I do remember going to a uh, rainy game with uh, Skip Holtz up at Navy, and they won that game. But, yeah, I don't remember one at home. I thought we had one one at the home. The only two have been Dominique Davis's record-breaking performance. Right. And then right. Owen Daffer last yeah. year. Yeah. That's it. Mm. So, uh, yeah, we uh, we owe him. We yeah. owe him for a lot of beatdowns here at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. We owe him for him a couple of years ago when Holton Aylers couldn't play and Mason That's had right. To play. That's right. And, and, and they almost Carolina beat him almost then. beat him, yeah. Because, remember, that was, that was a game that we thought, um, you know, could have – what was it, that game? And there was another game that uh, – because um, Holton didn't play that game because of the COVID right. issues when he, he really didn't have COVID. Positive or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it, it's tough to have a lot of confidence heading into Navy games with our history. But right. Blake Darryl, uh, Blake Harrell's defense has had two solid games. You know, not great, but solid yeah. uh, against the midshipmen. All right, Ben, Vinny, hang on. we got a couple open lines, 317-1250. We're taking your calls on the U.S. Sailor fifth quarter call-in show, and we'll have more for you after this. It's bow time. <laughs> Why are Bojangles Chicken Supremes called Supremes? Well, with golden crispy chicken tenderloins this juicy, tender, and full of bold flavor, what else would you call them? Superbs? Nah, that would be weird. Get your Chicken Supremes combo today with a scratch-made biscuit, your choice of fixin', legendary iced tea, and have you heard there's a new sauce in town? Try our new creamy buffalo sauce when you get a Chicken Supremes combo today. It's bow time. <laughs> 
I can't think of anyone who doesn't love a clean car, but how often do you actually go to the car wash? Does it take too long, or maybe it's just not a very nice place? Tommy's Express changes everything. Our wash is bright, inviting, clean, and fast. I love the flat conveyor belt. So easy to pull onto, much smoother ride, and safer for my car. And when you join Tommy Club, you can wash as often as you like for one low monthly price. I save money and time. We're Tommy's Express. At the corner of Greenville Boulevard and Red Banks Road, Greenville. Do you have an old injury or just some pain that keeps holding you back? It's time for you to get better. With Kinetic Physical Therapy and Wellness, we can help you get your life back. Whether you need to get back to a sport, back in the gym, or just back to enjoying life, our team of specialists use a one-on-one, -on -one, hands-on approach in our state-of-the-art facility to get you back moving again. Don't settle for where you are. Don't stay in pain. Visit kptonline.com today to see how Kinetic Physical Therapy and Wellness can help you live well, move more, and hurt less. You've worked hard to make your business successful, and that's why it's really important to always have a bank that's in your corner when you need them. This is Chris Richards from First Bank, and our experienced team of local bankers includes Lee Watson, Ashley Capps, Bonner Latham, Josh Hooten, and Heath Nisbet. To get the business services that are right for your business, come and see one of our experienced team members at First Bank on Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. First Bank, together with our customers, we're creating a world where individuals and communities thrive. Member FDIC. Greenville Utilities Electric customers will soon be able to receive text notifications in the event of power outages. Enrollment is automatic, so make sure GUC has your cell phone number by signing into your account at GUC.com, then update the information in your user profile. Want to talk with someone instead? Call 252-752-7166 during business hours. 252-752-7166. Update us so we can update you. Visit GUC.com for more information. Better ingredients, better pizza, better brace yourself because this right here is a Papa John's Papa Bowl. No crust, just piping hot toppings and melty cheese in an oven-baked bowl. Better ingredients, better pizza, now in a bowl, Papa John's. Hey, Pirate fans, brace yourself for the brand new Papa Bowls for only $7.99. The new Papa Bowls are an MVP move for game day or any day. Place your order online at PapaJohns.com and sign up for Papa Rewards. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Pizza. Go Pirates! This is former ECU football player Bryce Williams, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call in show. Here's Clip Brock. 317 1250 on the Pit Electric live line. That line is logged and loaded, so when we get a call out, you can jump in. We got Mike and Al and Vinny hanging on, and we will go now to Ben up in Charlotte. Hey, Ben. Hey, guys. Uh, How you been, Ben? <laughs> Never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> been there, done that? <laughs> ah, yeah, da -dum -dum. yeah, I'll just sit back. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you got a third one? Nope, I'm done. All right, man. Well, uh, you'll start to do one. 3 and 0 against the spread if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, second half was, you know, fun to watch. Not necessarily the start we wanted, but, uh, you know, Mike Houston wasn't just talking up their quarterback, Williams, for no reason. Um, he really, you know, kind of gassed our secondary at times. You know, with, with Jenny's performance last week and then, you know, tonight you kind of really noticed the absence of a guy like Jaquan McMillan back there in coverage, kind of a lockdown dude that you can just put against their number one and, and not worry about it. But, uh, you know, certainly something they want to get squared away heading into conference play. Um, it's not going to be the last elusive, uh, you know, kind of confident quarterback that can – buy himself some time and, and wait for guys to get open. But, you know, that said, overall, the defense kind of operated under that bend but don't break space. Um, you know, making plays, getting stops, turnovers when they needed them, and they kept points off the board despite the 400 yards that they gave up. Um, offense was basically perfect in the second half. Ehlers was probably as accurate as I've ever seen him. Uh, receivers always seemed to get open, and even if they weren't, you know, they were coming down with the contested catches. Uh, and then Mitchell and Harris, of course, both ran hard. Um, use their respective talents and speed and physicality to, you know, get in the end zone. And, I mean, that just continues to be a hell of a tandem for us. Um, special teams, like, the one cool thing is just continuing to hear the crowd. Even on the TV, you can hear them still chanting for Daffer, you know, every single kick. And I know, you know, that support's going to pay off at some point this year. He's going to hit some big ones for us. And, you know, I'm looking forward for that payoff. Um, then last week, kind of got to see Garcia and Gunn get some snaps, which is, you know, just showing us that future. Um, I did think it, you know, it was kind of funny. Second game in a row, Gunn gets one down close, but, you know, he wants that end zone so bad. 
Uh, we had to kneel it out for him, but I'm, I'm looking forward to him getting in there and getting that touchdown. But uh, other than that, uh, Cliff, I'm, I'm just glad we didn't have to sweat out the second half because I know we're going to be sweating out the Commanders game all day tomorrow against the Lions. Uh, but hopefully they can pull one out for us and go 2-0. But, uh, but go Pirates, man, and, and sink Navy next week. Yes, sir. There is Ben in Charlotte, and we've uh, – Commanders picking up a win. I'm terrified about tomorrow's game, yeah, but yeah. we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, East Carolina, it, the Ben but don't break defense, you could say. Uh, the the ben, 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 but, but don't, don't break. break defense. Chandler said this. Early. How about that one, Ben? I, and it might have been, uh, <laughs> it might have been noted football expert Troy Dreyfus, who said uh, that a team would uh, that Cl- Campbell would get ten points and then not score or something like that. Because Chandler, you said something about it during the game. I was like, somebody said that <laughs> their t- team total will be ten. Yeah, and they got ten in the first quarter. And I was like, well, we had and to shut them out from wrote, now. Yeah. And, that, and that's exactly what that Pirate defense did. They shut them out for three more quarters. It's funny. I told my daughter I predicted 41-10. And it was 41-10 for like three seconds until Owen Daffer hit the extra point. Man, you, you were going to have C.J. Johnson. Really? That's a lot. You were going to have C.J. Johnson as your fantasy player. Hey, but look, but look, I do have I do have a witness before the game. My daughter, can she can attest to that. I didn't yeah. say anything about uh, CJ to anybody. I mean, just though. like her courtroom, is she really a good witness to have? Those? No, not at all, because she knows who pays the bills. <laughs> no, right. I, yeah, no. 317-1250 on the Pit Electric Live line. We go to Vinny in Washington. Hey, Vinny. Vinny! Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, I've been mean to call the last couple of weeks, but somebody beat myself to the comment. So, so tonight, Monica beat me to the comment about one thing she mentioned. A kicker, every time he was kicking last week, everybody showed him some, some love, which that was a great thing. Now what I'm afraid of, I hope we don't play, you know, the nature of the beast is to play to the level of competition. So I hope this big game don't get us a big head and then we fall flat next week. And not the comment I'd like to make, nobody mentioned yet. Our coach already is some rumors about leave. Why, you know, the private nation get together and open the checkbook to make it some offer interest at least a compatible which if somebody wants to steal a coach they have to think twice uh, all right Vinny, thanks for the call i mean there, there's no rumor that mike houston is leaving like <laughs> it's it's game three of the season it, the if the pirates win nine or ten games sure teams are going to come calling and then, I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. Yeah. But there's not a rumor as we sit here week three of the season that Mike Houston's leaving after this year. And, yeah, easier said than done. It'd be nice to have a nice coach umbrella or blanket, whatever, you parachute uh, yeah. to have yeah. uh, to pay him. But uh, go ahead and start that up. Well, <laughs> you if, know. if we have to, we can just start a smear campaign like we did for Blake Harrell that's last right. year. <laughs> we just started saying uh, how Blake Harrell's an awful human Eight being. puppies. Yeah. And, and nobody should hire him because we want to keep him here forever. Yeah. Hey, that'll work, yeah. Thanks for the call, Vinny. Let's go to Al in Greenville next on the Pit Electric Live line. Hey, Al. Hey, how you guys doing? It's been a long time. Philly Al, good to hear from you. We were talking about putting together a bingo card if certain phrases came up, and I was taking suggestions, and somebody said uh, rooster neck should be on the bingo card. Oh, absolutely. That is what be. Al called Billy Weaver uh, years ago. That's right. Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Uh, you know, this is, a, this is the first time in a long time that I've been able just to sit back and listen to the game. And uh, hopefully I'm going to try to get to a game. My son said that uh, he'll get me over there if I can get in the stadium. I said, well, I guess I can get in the stadium if I just try. But I really enjoyed the game. The only thing that bothers me, Cliff, is I called tonight to talk about East Carolina. And what do I hear? The frigging commanders. Are you kidding me? You got Carson Wentz. Are you really happy you got Carson Wentz? We're one and zero. We're one and one and zero, baby. We're, we're fine. You were one and zero. That guy, I can't believe it. Of all people, you and I forgot all about it. I got off. The, I said, "Oh my God, that's right. He's got Carson. They're not even called the Redskins anymore. I got to call them the Commanders." Well, well look, we've been calling them the Commandos. You're the one talking about them now, or you must be nervous about them this year. Yeah, I'm nervous as hell. Yeah, yeah I'm dying. I'm, I'm dying in bed here. I'm, so, <laughs> all right. So, odds are on favorite that Damn. Philly will win the NFC East this uh, this year. Will you put money on that? 
I already did. Did you really? Yeah. Did you? He done did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my, my grandson and my son-in-law are from Philadelphia, and my grandson's been a Dallas Cowboy fan. He's 28 years oh, old. Oh, so poor guy. Never, he's never won. My son-in-law. And before the season started, I bet. And uh, I just called me the other day and said, well, I guess that bet's off. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like the Eagles on that side. Yeah, yeah. me too. Well, Al, great to hear from you, man. I know you've uh, been with us through some good football here and uh, some really rough days. So glad you can uh, kick back and enjoy some good pirate football now. Yeah, this this was a very relaxing day, and uh, I just want to I want to get over to the stadium one time just to see what it's like. I've never been in the stadium, but I'll try. So you guys have. Hey, um, I, I keep I keep forgetting. I called uh, Billy. Roosting that guy apologized for that. Uh, no, no way. don't it ever apologize for, a for great that. Great moment. We still absolutely. Talk about it. I take pride in that. And as a matter of fact, Al, if you make it to a game at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, please let me know ahead of time so I can come over and say hey. Well, I, I'd like to come to a tailgate. That, oh, yeah. absolutely. You're more than welcome to come to the Pirate Radio tailgate, man. You'd have a blast. I know I would. I, but you have to let us know beforehand so I can go out and find a rooster somewhere. <laughs> 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 All right, Al. Good luck. Uh, I, well, I wouldn't mean it if I said good luck to the Eagles. So no, I wouldn't mean it either. Yeah. yeah, I know. You wouldn't appreciate it if we said good luck to the Eagles. Yeah, he wouldn't anyway. even accept. No, it, so. you wouldn't. If if you're a true Philadelphian, you you wouldn't accept it. Absolutely not. There's no reason to accept an insult like. That. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Al. Good to hear from you, man. Yep. See you later. All right, Philly Al in uh, Greenville giving us a call three one seven. You got something, Chandler? Yeah, I just want to take a quick look at the UBE stat sheet uh, right quick. Uh, before the game, I said that this uh, – Zay Winstead was my fantasy player. I said that he this would be the game he gets like six for 122 and a touchdown. Did you say that? No did touchdown, you say that? but he did have six receptions and 112. Did you really say that? What is this? Is it on rag radio? I actually, I actually did say that, though. Do you ever hear me, like, say a stat and if it comes true, bring yes. it up? Yes. Don't you even finish that sentence, I know, dude. right? I would <laughs> never. Troy Jr. over here. <laughs> don't, you, don't you even dare. Well, come on. All right. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Mike is up next in Charlotte on the Pit Electric Live line. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's going on, Clip? What's up? Uh, so I just wanted to get in here uh, before Atticus. Uh, um familiar with the band uh and or gustavo uh, however he goes by that he's dead oh boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a real character <laughs> i just wanted to ask um so uh real question you know you ask state fans their rivals uh i'd like to ask what do you think that realistically ecu's top five rivals would be top five rivals well I think you got to put NC State at the top. You do, and I, and we'd be in their top five, but we're not NC State's top rival. North Carolina would be their top rival. Yeah. But uh, I, that's a tough question to answer. I mean, I guess you would have to go with the in-state schools. Yeah. The problem is in the leagues we've been in, I guess we had, what, Billy, maybe something with Southern Miss for years. Southern Miss was a rival at one time. We not just don't have any yeah, conference yeah. rivals. Like Marshall yeah. looked like it was going to be one. Marshall was one, yeah. 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 I, don't know. I think if you look over, like, all time, not, not rivals now, but I think you throw Virginia Tech in the mix, too. Virginia Tech was a rival for a long time. I love that game and always thought that game should yeah, be. Yeah, and so now I, they're off. Right. So I, I think your top rivals, if if I had to name the top five, it would be NC State, probably North Carolina, then Virginia Tech, then Marshall and Southern Miss, or Southern Miss Marshall. You flip those two. Hey, Mike. That would be my Mike, top five. You know who ECU's biggest rival is? Next week, Navy. No. No. Billy, be quiet <laughs> for a second. <laughs> hey, Mike. You know who ECU's biggest rival is? East Carolina. The only ones holding back ECU is ECU. The only one that can get away in the way of the Pirates is the Pirates. I don't know if I believe that, but it sounds good. So, Mike, go ahead. Appreciate it. Have a good one, boys. All right. Oh, that That's it. it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mike. 317-1250. Good question. Though. Are we agreeing on that? Do you, you guys have anybody else well, in the top five? I was hollering out those. Yeah, I mean, I said those teams, so. Uh -huh. Chandler, you got anything? Nothing? Nah, no, I mean, no. I would like. Gardner Webb? No. 
And we're going to play Old Dominion every freaking year. Maybe they'll be a I think I think App State would be I a know. good route. I would like that to be I a I would rival. love that to be a good route. Especially, I mean, especially now. Yeah. Did you see the way? I think Charlotte and App would be good ones. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, have see you seen the highlight yet? I got to show it to you. No, I haven't. We I heard uh, about it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, we got to check that out. All right, uh, Shirley, we're taking a break. All right, 317-1250. Jamie and Wendy, hang on. We'll get to your calls when we return. And we got a couple open lines, 317-1250. We're back with more U.S. Sailor Fifth Quarter Call-In Show after this. For over 51 years, Parker's Barbecue has brought families together with our award-winning whole hog barbecue and fried chicken. Tradition is important at Parker's Barbecue, and for three generations, the Parker's Way has stood the test of time. Whether you visit our dining rooms or drive throughs use our on-site catering, or even use our nationwide shipping, the hospitality, barbecue, fried chicken, homemade sides are still the same. We are the Parker family. Come in and let our family show you. This is the Parker's way. Before you hit the road this travel season, be sure to get your tires inspected by the Tire Guys at Greenville Auto World. The Greenville Auto World service team sells all the top brands and economy tires if you need a new set. Need an oil change, state inspection, or AC repair? Greenville Auto World can work on any type of vehicle, and the monthly oil change special is only $29.99. Make an appointment now by calling 364-8730. For award-winning service, trust Greenville Auto World. That perfect tractor package you've been eyeing and quality equipment just got a little more perfect. Haul your next one, three, or five series John Deere tractor off the lot on your brand new trailer. Visit our site at qualityequip.com to add it to your package. Start with quality equipment to get any task done right. We've got the full line of John Deere equipment priced right with low monthly payments and special financing. Plus, we service everything we sell. Visit qualityequip.com to see our latest offers. When it comes to hauling dirt, asphalt, or stone, you can trust the pros at First and Goal Hauling Incorporated. They have a fleet of dump trucks ready to get the job done. And best of all, it's owned and operated by ECU football alum Dakota Marshall. When you have a big job and you need it done right, count on First and Goal Hauling, where it's a touchdown every time. Keep up with Dakota Marshall and First and Goal Hauling by following them on Facebook today. Are you suffering from anxiety, sleep issues, or chronic pain? Have you heard of CBD? You can learn about the benefits of CBD right here in Greenville at the Hemp Garden. Hemp Garden offers a variety of products and solutions that are truly making a difference in our community. Hemp Garden also provides products that can assist with energy and focus. Have a pet? Come check out their selection of CBD pet products. Visit Hemp Garden to speak with a CBD specialist in a relaxed and welcoming environment today. Exclusive discounts are offered to first-time customers. Hemp Garden, located at 3040 South Evans Street in the Target Shop. Shopping Center in Greenville. Mow like a pro with Hustler Turf Zero Turn Mowers. They engineer their mowers to be maintenance and service friendly for the everyday homeowner while not sacrificing the build and cut quality they're known for. From the heavy duty frame to the welded steel deck to their trademark smooth track steering, Hustler Turf Zero Turn Mowers deliver professional grade cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Come into Rod Ayers Motorsports to see the Hustler difference for yourself today. Rod Ayers Motorsports, Highway 11, north of the airport in Greenville. This is CJ Mayhew, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call in show. Here's Clip Brock. All right, 317 1250, the number on the Pit Electric Live line. I'm still grazing on some Parker's barbecue. I know I did too. I got to have some mac and cheese. I broke down. <laughs> Chicken, cute, fixins, corn sticks, or hush puppies, depending on your preference or both. And uh, some dessert. I didn't even tell Billy we got brownies by there. Are you serious? Yeah. Where'd you get brownies from? Parker's barbecue. Parker's has brownies? Wake up, man. Wake up. I'm, oh, I'm banana pudding guy. I didn't know that. Wake up and smell the brownies. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks. I assume that really good. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if Clip wants you to have the brownies because wow. All right. the way you eat banana pudding, if you eat the brownies <laughs> the same way, Clip is you not going to want to sit beside you. You got to go to another room. Now, has anybody put banana pudding on top of Will the brownies? Will you relax? What? No. Will you calm down? What's wrong with that? That you're, sounds delicious. I, you're a mad man. Do you put a scoop of ice cream on top of your brownie? You're an, you're an animal. For a brownie Sunday, right? Yeah. Well, Saturday. Oh, 
Well, yeah. <laughs> 317-1250. Let's go to the callers. Please. I think I might piss Billy off before the night's over. <laughs> Ryan, Brian, Wendy, and Jamie is up in Washington. Hey, Jamie. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. I was just calling in to say that I just want to give props to Holt Nailers for being an awesome leader on the field and killing it this year. And a another perfect game for the most part. Yeah. No turnovers, no yeah. interceptions, Billy, and uh, and hit continuing to hit. We'll pull up the stats in a moment, but hitting all of his targets, all yeah. of his receivers, spreading it around, and has uh, really done a great job, Wendy or Jamie. I'm sorry. Well, yes, awesome job. I just want to give him a shout out and give him some props. All right. Well, thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Jamie in Washington, 317-1250. We now go to Wendy and Greenville. Hey, Wendy. Hey, guys. Just just wanted to get you guys your opinion on why the Pirates played so much zone defense tonight. Oh, boy. Now we're getting into the weeds. Oh, yeah. Uh, good question. And uh, does it have something to do with maybe – the quarterback and his mobility where if you yeah. play man to man and everybody's down the field he can go i don't know if it's got something to do with that well and i do know that they that blake Carroll they did have a spy on him um so of course a lot of times when you have that situation um it puts you into sort of a predicament sometimes defensively so that could have something to do with it also was it you or a caller that pointed out we don't have a jaquan mcmillan it was, was one of the callers yeah. yeah yeah so you don't have a lockdown corner right now um and when you have a lockdown corner and you have corners that can go out there and be on an island with the receivers a lot of times you'll have to go to zone defense um i don't hate it i do hate you know they they still are giving up some big chunk yardage but the good thing tonight i mean they only gave up 10 points um and they were in a bend but don't break if you remember they were uh campbell i think it was in the was it the third quarter that they were inside the 20, and that's when the one interception. There's only one yeah. turnover in the whole game, and the Pirates got it. So um, I'm not hating on that, but, I mean, this is this is the time. If you're going to if you're gonna be picky about stuff on defense, now's the time to be picky because this is uh, they're, they're playing as good as they've played in a long time. So this is the time to, to make those mistakes and take that uh, defense to the next level good or question. correct those mistakes, I should say. Good question, Wendy. Uh, anything else? Oh, no, that's it. I appreciate it, guys. All right. Thank you. Wendy in Greenville, 317-1250. We go next to Brian in Fairmont. Hey, Brian. Hey, guys. How are y'all? Doing, Doing great, good. man. Hey, the one the one thing that, that I noticed, and I, I guess, you know, you know, it's been somewhat of a quagmire the last few years, is the, the number of penalties have gone down. And, you know, I don't, I don't you know, they st- we, we still have a very young team. I, yeah, we've got some you know, fifth and sixth year, you know, guys, but the majority of the squad on both sides of the ball are young. So so you're talking sophomores and maybe some juniors, maybe that's maturation and that sort of thing. But I, I think, you know, compared to where we were, say, two, three years ago, where we just had penalty after penalty after penalty, I mean, it's, it, you know, maturation and the coaching is definitely taking hold and the philosophy is taking hold. And, you know, like I said, um, Holton did a, did a very nice job today and our, and our defense is just – continues to get better they got a tough tough week next week just because of the scheme that they're facing but uh you know it's been it's been some time since you know that i could actually say that i i truly believe that we've got a, we, our, our guys are going to be really good this year and I, I think we're going to turn some heads and that sort of thing so just want to say congratulations to our to our coaches and our our, our young people and our, our fans for for a great win tonight yeah no doubt and good call on the uh the penalties there and and a lot of different reasons you get penalties and maturation and, and upperclassmen discipline, all that. But also, if you're outmanned, you're going to commit penalties because you're going to hold. If you're an offensive lineman, you're going to tackle the receiver down the field because he beats you. And like toe to toe now, week to week, we're either better or as good as the opponent. And you don't see a lot of those penalties either, Weave. Yeah, and and you're not seeing any of the 15 yard penalties. And that is not so much getting beat man to man. That's bonehead, and yeah. that's 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 lack of discipline yeah. and in the past we've seen a lot of, when you look at the penalties and you, you're racking up these penalty yards there's so many 15 yard penalties that was discipline was a problem mike houston came in and said he wanted a disciplined team and you have seen this team mature and get more discipline over the years and as a result tonight one penalty for five yards you brought up last week a, a player on odu in particular running his mm-hmm. mouth and yep 
we talked about it that night, but then the players came in Monday on the players' lounge, and they said, yeah, they, they were they were yapping. They were. They were trying to get us to do something. We said before the game, Mike, he said, the coach told us what they were going to do, and we stayed away from it and, and look at the result. So That's right. That's, that, right. that's, uh, that's great coaching and credit to the players for Absolutely. not falling for it. You know? that's, that's great coaching and that's being coachable as players yeah. and listening to the coaches and saying, look, the coaches are going to tell you, these guys, they're the underdogs. They're going to kind of try to come into your house. They're going to try and get into your head. Don't let it. Just go out there, play your game, and things will take care of itself, and it has. 317-1250, we go to Aiden. And talk to Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Ryan, you there? I'm here. Hey, man. What's going on? Talking about a pirate dub. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, uh, Ryan kind of stole my thunder on the penalties, uh, but I found it interesting. My wife, uh, on the uh, kickoff return, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the opposition got called for a a block below the waist and uh i was sure that was against the pirates and it ended up being against the uh the kicking team which was which was pretty cool but uh they brian kind of stole my thunder on the penalties but i am so used to those being against us instead of uh for us i mean that is a big big deal but i wanted to uh, ask you guys' opinion on something that happened last week. Uh, we got a, a targeting review, but there was no flag. Can you? Uh, is that a common thing? I, I've never yeah. seen an actual targeting review when there's no penalty. Shirley, we saw that in the Notre Dame game today. Uh, there was clear helmet-to-helmet contact, but the officials missed it. And I guess, Billy, they get buzzed down yeah, from they the get, top. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And, and what, what you have is you usually have an official that's in the booth or an official that's watching the game, um, and they can buzz down and say, hey, this one's going to be reviewed. We see something up here uh, that may have been missed on the field. So they, And wow. the one in the Notre Dame game, Tay, that wasn't called was clearly a helmet-to-helmet right. targeting, and they reviewed it, and they called it after the fact. So, yeah, yeah that does happen. And while it's not – quote unquote I guess common to say that it happens a lot it's common in the sense that it can happen and yeah. it's it's not uncommon if that makes any sense at all does that make any sense no, at all but no but it was good <laughs> I know what I'm saying in my head but you know uh, Ryan anything else uh, and, and lastly I think uh, some of our containment issues on the quarterback I mean he's an amazing athlete but our aggression I mean, we overran him so many times. Um, so I, I think, you know, our ears pinned back kind of helped him out a little bit. Uh, but he's he's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. He was tough to get. He was slippery. He was getting the extra yard. and uh, But, yeah, we uh, we came out – I like the way they, they came out aggressive and instead of sitting back, although sometimes uh, they did sit back, he was able to scramble. But – they were worried about him coming into the week, yeah. and for good reason. And, again, we're talking about a 49-10 to 10 East Carolina win here. Right. Uh, but he did get away uh, a few times. And I, I was a little bit more impressed with, with his arm than I thought. I, I didn't think that he was as good of a passer as he showed he was tonight at yeah. East Carolina. All right, Ryan. Hey, go Pirates. Thank Th- you. Thanks, man. All right, 3 and 7 12 50. Before we take a break, Chandler, uh, let's bring you in real quick and – are oh, you, I know what you're talking are, are, about. Are you sitting down? I, I already know, buddy. All right. uh, I've been monitor, monitoring the YouTube comments. I'm not great at math, but right now. And, Rob, thank you for pointing Uh-oh. this out, buddy. Uh-oh. Rob Uh-oh. pointed this out on YouTube. Are we, are we, we going smashing? We have 88 more <laughs> viewers than we do likes on YouTube. 88 more people are viewing that have liked it. On Facebook Live, uh, <laughs> we have 50. 54 okay. more viewers than we do likes. What are you people doing out no, there? Look, this is for them. This is their time to shine. Yeah. This is for the people's time to shine right here. Like you had a rough yeah, first half, but but now you can you can make up All for right, it. So we have 115 watching just on this is just on YouTube. If we can get to 100 likes on YouTube, 
that would be awesome. I, that's where I'm setting the goal for the night. I want 100. to get to 40 right now or 50. I mean, let's pick it up, people. Come on, guys. We we still got quite a show to go. What are you doing? Smash but it. Smash the I like. Think, I think there smash should, the sub. I think there should be a dislike button because you can. There I, is, Billy. Uh, I, well, there is a dislike button. Well, why? I would imagine that one would be lit up. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you talking about? What are you doing? You, you're not getting it? No. no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> We're trying to get the likes up. I know. I understand that. But usually in call-in shows, people are always negative. That's why I'm saying oh, the man. button. Get it? We just went from 44 to 52. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Get it up. Here we go, get baby. Get it up. Right. Hey, take that. you got to rise the like number. Thank you. Have you to rise. Coach. It's hard news. This is, a, this is a really good bunch. This is a really good bunch. <laughs> hey, Please wait. go to break. <laughs> Please. We're having a freaking show. 317 <laughs> Coach Chandler, Shirley, Billy Weaver, Cliff Brock, uh, Blake, Don, and Kenny, hang on. We'll get to your calls when we return on the U.S. Sailor fifth quarter call-in show. Need to see those likes rise. I we're like at, this right here. We're at 60. Jonathan on YouTube says 56 likes. Take pride in what like you are. What number Take are pride you? In it. 56 like. I like it, Jonathan. We're Let's up to go, 62. Folks. Let's keep it going. Let's go, baby. All right, we're back with you after this. Chico's Mexican Restaurant in downtown Greenville is the perfect place to get all your amigos together for some Mexican food, fun, and football. Chico's has been a game day tradition for Pirate football fans for over 30 years. Whether the game is home or away, make it a Chico's day for some great specials and the best chips and salsa in town. Chico's Mexican Restaurant in downtown Greenville and online at chicosrestaurant.com. Go Pirates! This is Dr. Hasty from Orthopedics East and Sports Medicine Center. Our practice has been caring for the athletes at ECU and the residents of Eastern North Carolina for more than 35 years. Whether it's treatment for your sports injury or it's time for that joint replacement, Orthopedics East provides the latest in operative and non-operative orthopedic care. We also offer on-site physical therapy and MRI services, as well as a walk-in urgent care on the weekends from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call us at 757-BONE or visit us online at orthoeast.com. Go Pirates. Hey, Pirate Nation, Lindsey Gray here with Carolina Caliber. In 1960, my granddaddy started his firearm business right here in Eastern NC. Still family-owned and operated, we have the area's largest selection for outdoor shooting sports and accessories and are one of the nation's top firearm dealers. At Carolina Caliber, we have everything you need from hunting, home defense, and personal protection, including a wide variety for ladies and youth. We buy, sell, and trade. It's a time-honored tradition. Visit us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville. Beauty Bar Medispa wants to know if you are ready to fall into beauty October 7th through the 14th. All services and products will be on sale. Botox, filler, painless laser hair removal, facials, RF microneedling, rejuvenating laser treatments to treat brown spots, wrinkles, texture, veins, and skin tightening. And now, the only facility in the area to offer non-surgical under-eye fat pad treatments. BeautyBarMedispa.com, Red Banks Road, Greenville. Go Go Pirates! Here today with Jeff Stein from Brown and Wood. Jeff, how's the service department? Service is going great. Like I told you before, 2022 is a year of the customer. We've been voted number one dealership in Greenville for three years in a row, and there's a reason why. For service, we still offer free pickup and drop off, so we're trying to make it super convenient for the customer. And right now, our customers are repairing their vehicles more than ever. How can people make a service appointment? They can go to brownwood.net or dial 355-6080. Christie's Europub is the perfect place to relax, grab a bite, and enjoy a drink. Located in the heart of Greenville and just a few blocks from ECU's campus, Christie's offers lunch, dinner, and late night with live music every Sunday. Come and have brunch Monday through Friday from 11 to 3 or Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 4. Scratch cooking takes time, so relax and enjoy a pint at Christie's Europub today. For the latest information, check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram or visit them online at christieseuropub.com. Welcome aboard the Pirate Ship of Fun. Pirate Radio. Prepare for the adventure of a lifetime. The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular 5th Quarter Postgame Call-In Show. Here's Clip Brock.
Welcome back into the show. Clip had walked out of the studio. We're waiting for him to return as uh, we get ready for to take more calls. I had to tell everybody to smash the like. Smash. <laughs> smash. He was out in the parking lot smash. with the bullhorn. Let's see where we are. 81. Very good, people. Love y'all. Doing a great job. Hey, I do have to give a shout out before we get back to the uh, the callers. Shout them out. Uh, the ECU marching band has been spot on this year, um, and they were loud in the boneyard. At times, they were really loud. And let's not make this like um, creepy or anything. What I'm about to say, don't take this creepy. The dance team has been awesome. We need to see more of the dance team. When the dance team, I think they only came out on the field one, one, one time. But when they come out and they do their little routines, it gets the boneyards going. The boneyard going. Shout out to Kristen, Pirate Radio intern Chandler and I. We uh, we thought she did a great job tonight. Yeah. Front row. Yeah. Shout dance out Kristen. Team. Shout yes. out Kristen. All right, uh, J.K. and I'm not J.K. and you're gonna come up in a moment. Blake, Don, hang on. We go to Kenny in Blunt's Creek. Birthday boy! Happy birthday. Saw Kenny in the stands with his 12 jersey on, fired I, up tonight. I tried to get Kenny's attention, and he was talking. Well, and he I was, tried to he wish him excited. a happy birthday. He, I think he's the new mayor of Greenville. What's up, Kenny? Hey, guys. How y'all doing tonight, man? Uh, look, no complaints about this game. This, this is what we were supposed to do to a team like that. Go in, hammer them, put up a nice score. Uh, we just uh, we got we got to clean up a few things, but hey, man. Be excited. This team is is one play, and I'm talking about a block punt from being 3-0 and and having national recognition. We're going into a game next week with Navy, and uh, we, we need Pirate Nation to show up, get out there, support these guys, uh, and, and just get this thing going. It's a special team this year, and uh, we, we had a ball today, dude, and in, in, in the stands and, and watch these guys play, and uh, just, hey, Loving Pirate football. It is so good to be back. We are back, man. Magic Mike is working his stuff. And I am so happy to just call in and, and not have a bitch and complain about losing. We're winning, man. You know? Great game. And uh, I'd like to throw a shout out to uh, my buddy Cooper Greer. He came and played the tailgate today, and that was amazing. And uh, Pirate Radio Tailgate, guys, y'all, y'all always do a good job. Good seeing Billy, everybody there. And uh, go Pirates, man. Love it. Kenny, good to hear from you. Have a great birthday evening. And uh, Kenny has been with us through some ups and downs. And oh, yeah. uh, I like hearing from these old callers who are uh, and not old in age, but old and they've been with us for a while that can enjoy a game like tonight weave and uh, celebrate because he's right. It, it it is kind of a party atmosphere in the stands when, when the Pirates get rolling. It is. It was a party atmosphere at uh, Kenny's tailgate earlier right beside Pirate Radio, too. Well, like you mentioned, Cooper Greer was over there playing tunes. That guy can belt out some tunes. I'm telling you what, look out for Cooper Greer. I mean, he's he's on the rise. Um, I, I, I'm just I'm, – I'm proud – for the city and for our area that we have so many talented people around here. Um, but the tailgate scene was awesome in the stands. Awesome. Um, and Kenny's, Kenny's one of the, the more diehard pirate fans. He's going to be through with the pirates through thick and thin and always has been. So it's, it's nice for those types of fans that have been through the tough times to see some good times now. All right. We go next to Don in Raleigh. Hey, Don. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Man, I just mainly calling to uh, congratulate uh, Holt Naylor's on uh, all the those records he set today. Um, I also <laughs> wanted to kind of bring up uh, something I called in about uh, probably three, four years ago. Um, and we, uh, you know, back when times were a little tough, uh, <laughs> called in uh, saying, "What do you What do you think we should do with Naylor's? Uh, you know, maybe we can make him a tight end or something." And uh, I'm so glad uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, uh, nobody, nobody listened to anything I had to say. Well, you you weren't alone, Don. But uh, yeah, there were there were a few people saying position change and things like that. Now he's a br- record breaker, 17 of 20 tonight, 263, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Also had a rushing touchdown uh, for the Pirates. That makes me think. Yeah. You know, where where would this program and where? How would Holton's career have 
kind of been painted that picture uh, if he was at tight end? I can tell you, if they said move to tight end, he'd be playing quarterback for another school. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. It's probably a good, yeah. good point. Don, anything else, man? Any other terrible predictions or demands <laughs> you had you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, I, I'm just happy with the, with the way they played. Uh, you know, the you know, we usually would play down to opponents, and uh, they they just stuck to it and, and got it done, and that's that's what matters. Yes, sir. Uh, say. All right, man. And I think a lot He's of people done. were thinking that early on that, you know, oh, God, oh God, here comes East Carolina playing down to an opponent again. But, you know, that's very typical of these types of matchups where the underdog will come in. They're coming out fired up. They want to make a statement. And, you know, they hang with a team early on. And then the better team pulls away and, and you know, it ends up being a blowout at the end, which was the case with tonight's game. But I tell you what, looking at – um, Campbell's offensive line up close, they had some big boys yeah, on that offensive line. Apparently their left line. tackle has... Uh, 75? Know, NFL teams looking Ooh. at them. And, yeah. I, he, you could not... It's funny because my daughter, you know, they come down to that end of the field uh, early on in that first drive, and my daughter looks at me and she goes, number 75 looks like Michael Orr. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> uh, big fella, that's for sure. All right, uh, let's go next to Blake in Greenville. Hey, Blake. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, super happy for the win, man. I mean, it, it, was, it was a big win uh, for those betters out there, covered the spread. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be picky you, just because, you know, EC fans are always picky on, on these kind of things. And uh, the only thing that I can really be picky on today is the first half defense. And I think Ryan was the one that, uh, that uh, talked about it earlier the the containment of this dual threat quarterback and i just wanted to get y'all's opinion and y'all's thoughts on what that could mean for the triple option offense that we're going to face next week against navy i don't think anything at all i don't either it's it's two totally different offenses you you've got quarterback uh dive pitch you've got can you that's a different deal because you're playing assignment football and playing assignment football and then playing defense against a dual threat quarterback is two totally different things. I don't think other than like tackling for East Carolina, which has been pretty good this year. Yeah. Outside of that, I don't think anything we've seen on defense can give us any idea of what next week's going to be like. Uh, you, you, the only thing you can look at is last year against the Navy to know what our defense could look like. I mean, I don't think it has anything to do with today. But. Yeah, and, and, and I get that too. That was that was another thing that I wanted to mention. Is, is I feel like since we do play Navy so often, that I feel like we kind of have that game plan not not moved over from the last year. But I mean, we're familiar with that triple threat. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so so that was I don't know. That was the only thing that I really could think of. Like we may be in a little bit of trouble with uh, with all the different moving pieces and um, you know threats that. Navy may have, even though I know that they're kind of struggling this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think we played really well. First half was a little bit rough, but second half, shut them out. I mean, 39 point win. There's nothing really else to complain about. Yeah. And I mean, look, I would say it the opposite way, too. If East Carolina shut down the quarterback today and gave up no yards and no points, I'd still feel the same about next week against Navy. And I would be nervous about that triple option just because it's so different. So. All right, Blake. Thanks, man. Three one seven twelve fifty. Uh we go to Pinehurst and talk to JK. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Great. How are doing you? good? Pretty good. I I want to tell you I am the fifty sixth liker. So Chandler. Atta boy. Nice. Way to go, JK. Yes, but yeah, I just wanted to say great win again. Um started off slow again and then we put the hammer down i really think big john is paying dividends you saw the last even in the state game we lost but didn't give up any points and we i mean uh, i think the future is looking bright and i just want to call out all the idiots on hoist the colors who wanted to start mason garcia tonight (laughs) (laughs) all right uh jk aka number 56 shout Uh, out uh, jk way to take some pride in that 56 lock baby take some pride in it. take some pride we've (laughs) 
some pride. Dag on pride. How many likes is it up to now? 89. 89. Santana Moss. Let's get it up to 100. That's, that's funny because when he said 56, I just thought of Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, LT, Lamar Matt, Harrington. You, yeah, you think of numbers that way. Speaking of shout outs, uh, I want to give a happy birthday shout out, if you don't mind, to a young lady, Gracie Hunnings, who is turning 14 today. All right. Ooh. Happy birthday, Gracie. So, happy birthday. I believe she may be hanging out with the crew of Kenny and Blunt's Creek. All right. Oh. Let's do a so sped it's her, up. Yes. Let's do a sped up version of happy birthday. You ready? Yes. yes. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gracie. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Good job. Arr. Well done. Well done. Happy birthday, Grace. All right, uh, what do you want to do? Go to Jackson. Jackson in New Bern is up next. Hello, Jackson. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, man, just want to say it was a good win tonight. Um, I was at the game and impressed by the crowd and really impressed by the improvements and the concessions. Uh, not much to complain about. Just kind of calling it to give you a hard time. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's too early for that. Uh, but, no, uh, I saw it, it comes down to kind of individuals at this point, I guess. I saw complaints about concessions. Uh, I saw people say they went to get a beer and it went quick. So, uh, But good to hear you didn't have any issues because there was a lot of people there. That was, there was, that was a big crowd. It was a big crowd. And, and we'll probably get complaints about it, but good to hear that you had a good experience. Get complaints Jackson. about what? The concessions and waiting. I, you know what, my my wife went down to the bathroom and got a drink and got a, a pizza, and she was back very quickly. I was surprised when she came back, That's and good. I was like, "Wow, you got back quick!" I said, "Did you go to the bathroom too?" She said, "Yeah," and there was no line down there, so awesome. Yeah, it was great. All right, anything else, Jackson? Uh, absolutely. I absolutely had a ball. Great time, well, family and friends, and I really don't have much to complain about. They did a really good job, I think. I think they adjusted well, and, uh, you know, I hope we can continue to move forward with these adjustments that have really run it in forward gear. Yes, sir. And uh, another home game coming up for the concession crew and everybody, the 4th yeah. in September. So hopefully uh everybody will have another good game day experience and enjoy watching some good football next week and i hope it continues for the rest of the season and maybe even from here on out that they allow you to bring in one bottle of unopened water i did that again tonight i did that too um and they're not going to allow you to bring in like a half a water bottle if it's already open and stuff which i get that because you don't know what's in it it could be had alcohol clear liquor i get that uh but that's nice to be able to take a bottle of water in with you because I'm going to spend money at the concession stand, but sometimes I just don't want to sit there and wait Yeah, uh, at the concession stand. And I think that's paying dividends for not having such long lines. Yeah, no doubt. I agree. All right. Uh, we go to Deke in Richmond. Hello, De- Deke. Yeah. What's up? Hey, how we doing? Hey, we're doing good. Doing good? Good, good. It was... Uh, a big shout out to the Pirates tonight. It was a big team win. Um, especially a shout out to Keaton Mitchell. That was probably the most outstanding performance I've seen since since Hurley ran it up on South Carolina and, and uh, NC State and Charlotte. I mean, if he'd have been in there every series, he'd have had. I mean, he just, he was just unstoppable. It was it was fantastic. Billy, you called out his yardage total earlier. Do you remember it offhand? Um, 189? Because he didn't really have the home run, but he had like three or four triples no, and a few doubles. He, I and... thought he was going to have the home run. The home, the the one where he went down the sideline and the safety came over and he tried to make a move on him and then got tripped up. Because uh, I was already pointing to the house. Yeah. I was point, when, he, when he turned the corner and he got into the secondary, I was pointing to the house and thought he was gone. And, man, that safety came over and kind of tripped him up but Keaton uh, Mitchell averaged 14.2 yards was I right was it 189 185 on 13 okay. carries Pirates had a ton of explosive plays tonight yeah. uh, 20 plus yard plays it, it was nice to see and they the uh touchdown run that he had early on if I'm not mistaken I think it was seeing the replay in the uh in the stadium didn't look like he even got touched I mean he was he he looked like he was hitting the hole quicker um, instead of seeing a little bit of dancing and then, of course, getting that seam and, and turning on the Jets, it looked like he was hitting the hole at full speed. Uh, anything else, Deke? 
No, that's it. We appreciate it. You guys do great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. All right, uh, Dave, hang on. We'll get to you next, and we have some open lines if you want to jump in. 317-1250. Our quest for 100 continues. We're at 95 likes. We still have 15 more people watching than we do likes, so let's get that number up. Let's hit triple digits, and we'll all party uh, as we move on. The U.S. Sailor Fifth Quarter Collins Show back with you after this. the best burgers around everyone loves a thick juicy and fresh burger tiebreakers in greenville plus the all-new tiebreakers in winterville do real burgers better than anybody so don't just go to any burger themed restaurant chain it's time to break the chain and eat local tiebreakers real burgers at its best everybody loves burgers I'm Michael Vaughn with East Coast Grading and Utilities. Many of you know my dad, David Vaughn, and his work in putting in subdivisions all over Pirate Nation. But East Coast Grading and Utilities is not just for those type of big jobs. We're here for the homeowners, whether it's concrete, driveways, hauling rock or sand, whatever you need, East Coast Grading and Utilities can get the job done. Call us at 252-531-7494 or check us out on Facebook at East Coast Grading and Utilities. Buying a home? Then you've got a lot on your mind. Now rising rates? It's a lot. This is Timothy Sawyer, your local Rocket Mortgage Professional right here in Greenville, North Carolina. With Rocket, you have an advantage. You can lock your rate for 90 days while you search for a home. If rates rise, yours is safe. But if they fall within the first three years of buying, you can refinance to a lower rate with exclusive savings. Take the Rocket advantage of calling me, Timothy Sawyer, at 493-0002 today. Dear past, present, and future football watchers, you know why we're here. The football season is back! Woo! That means those pregame barbecues with an ice-cold Pepsi? Totally back! Your perfectly placed football watching corner seat, back and comfy as ever. 18 Sundays of touchdown scoring, Hail Mary throwing, ice-cold Pepsi flowing football action? You better believe it's back! And since that's too amazing to miss a single second's worth, Pepsi is officially giving you permission to always put football first. And when we say always, we mean always. Like when your lawn is looking less like a lawn and more like a jungle. If the game's on, then the lawnmower ain't. And those gutters you haven't cleaned? Today is not their day. Or maybe those in-laws are back in town. Well, better hope they're football fans because your Sunday is completely booked. Long story short, crack open a Pepsi and don't let anything get between you and your football watching. With love, Pepsi, made for football watching. Ah, that's what I like. Do you ever talk to yourself about where to eat today and then you hear, More and hot dogs. Then you're thinking, yeah, two hot dogs, chips and a drink for only six twenty five would be awesome. More and hot dogs. And maybe some homemade lemonade, perhaps a pizza or a sub, and definitely an apple or peach turnover. More and hot dogs. Don't overthink where to eat today. Go to Warren's Hot Dogs in Greenville across from Ron Ayers or in Chakawinity next to the fire station. Warren's Hot Dogs, serving the Pirate Nation since 1991. Go Pirate. Pirates. Pirate radio sounds different. Difference is good. We are all the same. You'll be ashamed. Because different is good. Oh, yeah. Pirate. Pirate radio. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call-in show. Here's Cliff Brock. Now, with the Pirate Radio scoreboard, here's Shirley Rhodes. All right, a bunch of games in the fourth quarter. Ohio State just walloping Toledo right now. 70-21 to 21 is that score in the fourth quarter. Oklahoma beating up on uh, Arkansas uh, 63-7. to seven. And um, that is not – wow. Let's just skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> Forget I said that. No, uh, just, just skip scratch that Scratch it. Scratch it. Arkansas leading Missouri State uh, 38 
2227. This is what happens when they abbreviate names, and I can't read them all the way. Tennessee beating up on Akron 56-3 in the fourth quarter. NC State has a 27-14 lead over Texas Tech with nine minutes to go in that game. Michigan State trailing Washington 36-14 in the third quarter. South Florida has a three-point lead over Florida 27-24. 28-24. Correct. Wow. Wow. 28-24 in the fourth quarter. Pitt beating up on Western Michigan 20-13 at the end of the third quarter. Clemson all over Louisiana Tech 20-6 in the third. And Texas has a 24-17 lead over uh, UTSA in the third quarter. Texas A&M has a 10-3 lead over Miami in the second quarter. And that is a look at your Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard brought to you by The Buck. It is your beacon of music in the land of the Pirates. They are open from noon until 2 a.m. with live music every night along with football. Follow The Buck on Facebook and Instagram for an updated schedule, and we'll see you at The Buck. Now let's head back into the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call-in show. Here's your host, Clip Rock. How about this? The easy part of the American schedule, I use easy in quotations, Navy, South Florida, Tulane coming up for East mm-hmm. Carolina. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tulane goes on the road and wins at Kansas State today. Saw that. Big win for them. South Florida is up four in the swamp with 11 minutes left to go. Can they hang on? I don't know. But even if they don't, very impressive. And a big day for Weaver. Seven catches, 75 yards. Mm-hmm. Uh, Xavier, that's your cousin a- a- X. Yeah, uh, that's, a- that's my cousin X. Cousin X. Cousin big, X. Big day for Cuz. Mm-hmm. As we come back into the program, there is a comment on YouTube. Make it blue. A Disney adventure is the name of the uh, of the user, the YouTube user. Okay. He says, "Can you shout out the docs and the EMT and event staff in the stadium on call?" He said he had a medical episode tonight, and they took really good care of me. I'm sorry. That, that's awesome to hear. I was laughing at another YouTube comment. I'll say it. I, I was thinking the same thing. It was like, did but I no, miss something? <laughs> we're giving some major shout outs. So shout out to the EMS yes, and yes. the docs. I was laughing at this YouTube comment. Oh, he goodness. came to YouTube for the like. So we appreciate that. He stayed because of Billy's surprise that his wife actually came back. <laughs> oh, wow. That, get a rim, give him a rim shot on that one. Uh, rim shot. Uh, rim shot. Right. You're back? Yeah, yeah, You're right. actually back? Yeah. That, you came that, back? You came back? Oh, my God. That's You're, a good comment. You, you came back? That was great. <laughs> All right. 317. And, and by the way, update on the likes on YouTube. We currently have 111 likes. Well, Ooh, wait, yeah. hey, you said yeah. a bar, Chandler, so I'll give you some credit. Yep. And the people, people answered. All right, uh, we have an open line, 317-1250. We got Tom, Thomas, and Dave joining us in Greenville right now. Hello, Dave. What's up? What's up? And Billy, hey, guys, how you boys doing? Great. How you doing? Man, it's so much easier to call you jokers when we win. <laughs> <laughs> That's debatable. That really is, oh. because some people like to call when we're not doing well. They think it's more fun. It's always good talking to you guys. Look. How nice is it to be able to call them? We have a winning record this early in the season, by the way, two and one. Yeah, and and it could be three and zero, oh, of course. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, look, I also would be remiss if I don't wish my daughter a happy tenth birthday, real fast. She's awesome. Asleep, but uh, it's a fact that I said it. And uh, they, I guess they let anybody in the stadium because uh, we got to sneak in there today and watch it, and we had a great time. Um, only one negative. Only one negative. I'm a big person, obviously, Big Dave, uh, and I like to eat. And uh, halftime, we got a pretzel, and um, that thing was cold. It was cold. Mm. You hear that, Diesel? Can't have a cold pretzel, man. Cold pretzel. Uh, Come on, man. Come on, man. But uh, other than that, love the show. I hope people are paying attention on the bingo cards because there's been tons of uh, (laughs) tonight. And uh, y'all keep it up and uh, go Pirates. Yeah, at some point we're going to do that. I think we have found a way to do, like, virtual bingo cards and people can – and we can put in the the squares, and it can be randomized, and people can check them off. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And we could have a, uh, a bingo here on the fifth quarter all right thank you dave thomas is up in greenville hey thomas hey what's going on guys what's up hey two big shout outs one it's unbelievable to watch the adjustments our defense has made at halftime coach her on that staff has done a fabulous job the second thing is uh, we tend to stick around after the game is over and their starting quarterback um messed his ankle up bad and couldn't get off the bench and about 25 of our players came over there and shook his hand and patted him on the back 
and took a picture with them. And that just shows the character that uh, Coach Houston and those guys are getting in and coming playing ball for us. I thought that was just a first-class event for them to go do that for that guy. But their quarterback had to be carried off the field um, after the game was over. That, that cat was the real deal. I mean, he, uh, he just played a hell of a ball game. Yeah, laid it on the line, uh, made some some great runs for his team. Billy talked about his arm, uh, maybe better than advertised this week. So uh, he was a warrior. We saw Holton, too, uh, with one of their players getting pictures and yeah. tapping it up yeah. after the game. I didn't see much, uh, I don't know, back and forth. Mike Minner, uh, whatever Mike Houston said to him, he smiled after the game. Seemed like a pretty clean game as far as that yeah, goes. Yeah, a lot it of was. respect. It, it was, um, you know, after the first touchdown uh, for Cam- well, the only touchdown for Campbell, and th- their receiver, and it, it, he did the shush to the, the bone yard. I would have done the same damn thing. I would have done the same thing, too. But when you do that, yeah. expect that you're going to get something in the other end. Sure. Expect that the other team is going to have a little bit more juice and a little bit more fire, and yeah. that's exactly what happened. Yeah, you got to get. So I don't. I don't blame. I'm. You know. I'm not. I'm not shunning the guy and yeah. saying, "Oh, don't do that," and blah blah blah, and all that. Have fun with it. I love that fun part, and I like the kind of, like, I don't like the nastiness of it, but I like the the gamesmanship of it. Um, and I like, like you said, I probably would have done it too. But if you're going to do it, yeah, you better know that you're going to get it, too. Yep. No doubt. All right. Anything else, Thomas? Uh, I, I, I would just say the Campbell coach has got a first-class program because we sit right up behind the visitors on the front row, and there's no comparison between that team and the way they acted on the sideline and those jokers from Old Dominion. Those guys were just horrible, that team, those players on that team. One guy, number 18, he wanted to come in the stands and fight somebody. I mean, it was just it, just refreshing to see that team being as focused, even though you know, they were just out man. And uh, that, that should have been expected. Got one more weekend coming to Greenville, baby. One more, and then we get a break. <laughs> no pirate. Yeah, Pirate fans Wait a minute, you act, like, a you act like you, you're welcoming a break. No, man, we need to keep this thing going. Wait, keep this train going. Wait till you hear Troy D this week. He's going to act like he's been in a marathon or like a, a biathlon <laughs> or whatever. He's going to be uh, hurting. All right, uh, I'll tell you what, he wasn't hurting today, though. He was uh, he was feeling good. We saw him in the stands. <laughs> Who, Troy D? Yeah. yeah. I told <laughs> I said, Troy, I have I mercy. Said, Troy, I dare you to stop smiling right now. And he was just like, give a ball. I, mean, I, I actually had a great time. I said, do you have a dip in? And it was like a lifesaver. I was like, what is wrong? And then he just started laughing. This and I was man like, was okay. out there. Uh, that, was but, it was it one of those funny gummies? No, 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 no. <laughs> was that, no, is that it, what he had in what? his mouth? I think no. It was like the lifesavers that is in John that we steal all the time in Jonathan's office. Well, I mean, I didn't office. know if oh, it was. Yeah, usually, I wouldn't be surprised if it was pockets w- before he heads out to the tailgate. Yeah. Yeah, but were they soaked in alcohol? That's what I'm asking. The phrase living his best life came to mind for me. Uh, Tom is up next in Greenville on the Pit Electric Live line. Hey, Tom. How you doing, guys? Good to hear from you, Tom. Well, I've been watching football here in the stadium for 59 years. I was the first game with Wake, and I don't think I've ever seen an offensive line the size that Campbell had. It looked like five Clydesdales out there. When they'd run to the other side of the field, it was like everybody was like, my God, the the stadium's going to turn upside down. And the other thing, their quarterback was, I thought I was watching a Rocky game, you know, the sequel to Rocky, you know, like he was like chasing a chicken around. But we played really, <laughs> That's a good analogy. We really played well tonight. And I, I, I got so mad with the guy behind me. And I, I seldom say anything at the game. But his biggest bitch was the ribbon boards were too bright and he had to put his sunglasses on. <laughs> Let me tell you what, I, I personally love the ribbon boards and i love it when they get bright because the whole stadium brightens up i like it i love it i turned around and told him to grow a set and then <laughs> football <laughs> hey tom so you said you were at the first tom i mean yeah go ahead no 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 go ahead i didn't i didn't mean to cut you off you know the concessions were really good i mean i went down one time i'm an old guy you know, I have to go down for <laughs> reasons that I can't, you know, you just use your imagination. But, I mean, <laughs> the lines were short. I mean, guys were going down around us drinking beer and they're coming back two-fisted beers, you know, in five, ten minutes. So, you can't beat that. And then the, half the time's walking down the stairs and coming back up. So, they've they've really hit you know, the nail on the head. The, the new ribbon boards, the video boards, everything, 
you know, for the little time that they had to put together this program and actually get those boards up in 30 days, it's phenomenal that we are where we are with this, with that new system. But it's, it really makes the stadium stand out. It really does. So, Tom, you said you were at the first game in Ficklin, Old Ficklin Stadium when they played Wake Forest, the first home game. You were at that game? I was a freshman here. Wow, that's awesome. I, I, I just I can only imagine, um, and I, I think it's fans like you um, that what makes East Carolina so special. So thank you. That's awesome. Um, and I can only imagine – being in the position to be able to see the progression from Ficklin Stadium to Dowdy Ficklin to the Boneyard to the Murphy Center to the Upper Deck to all the stuff that's been done. I bet that's been pretty special. What's ironic, I, I only stayed here two years in my first stint because I discovered liquor and women and not necessarily in out of work. <laughs> Wait a minute, everybody discovers that at East Carolina. What are you talking about? I was doing field research on my brain cells to see if I could get any smarter <laughs> by killing the old ones, but that didn't work. So I spent 32 years away from here in the Navy. And I came back in '98, and people don't realize how 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 much this place has grown. You know, when you look at the athletic complex, when when I first got here, you know, the Colonial Mall was just being put in, and the only the only landmark down where Bob Barber's Honda was, there used to be a motel back there with like a you know a mom and pop store in front of it. So once you got down there, there was Union Carbide was here on down Greenville Boulevard. But I mean. Historically, when you look at the program, you look at the growth of the, you know, the university and the city, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's, it's a sight to behold. Tom, uh, great to hear from you. Uh, appreciate you calling in and glad you enjoyed the, uh, the beatdown tonight. Yeah, you have a great time. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Shirley, can you pull up the uh, press box folder up there on your uh, keys? Look for, I think it's called Masterpiece uh, Theme and play that. Because I want to hear Billy complain as the guy behind Tom because the ribbon board is too bright and he had to put on his glasses. So mm. if you could find that music, I want to say it's like down. You can hit that for me real quick. What was your biggest problem today? Well, you know, as I was walking up to my club level seats at uh, Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, I noticed this bright very bright distracting light and you know my eyes are a little sensitive there mm. clip uh you know i've paid <laughs> a lot of money <laughs> to my ophthalmologist is that what you call those guys <laughs> i guess uh, you, whatever <laughs> but uh, i pay him a lot of money for these these uh, ray-ban spectacles that i have on my eyes so uh this ribbon board is just mm, we just don't know, Clip. Just don't know. Yeah, well, we hope you enjoy buy into it. Yeah. It's got to go. It's just got to go. <laughs> Cut the ribbon boards. Cut the ribbon They're boards. They're too bright. All right. Are you sure this is not Troy's butler that <laughs> comes to the game? Yes, my helipad is on the other side of Minji's. They made me park behind the buses today. Was... How dare them. <laughs> Too bright of ribbon boards. Did not think that was going to be a complaint, but Tom no. and Greenville about had to whip a guy's ass in the stadium tonight. So uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, not doing that, though, Tom. Why'd you break the can and whoop ass out? Well, started talking about the ribbon board. <laughs> Dude talked about the ribbon board. Had to go. You want to go to Isaac? Isaac and Greenville's up. Hey, started Isaac. throwing fists. Isaac. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You listening to a good show, ain't you? Hello, hey, hey. Hey, hey, sorry. I, I was trying to listen to <laughs> what was happening five minutes ago. <laughs> Welcome to now. You just did a, uh, you just traveled in time. Welcome. Hey, Quantum Leap is back. <laughs> no, no, there's a lot going on. We're trying to watch uh, college football, like the other games, trying to listen. I was trying to call in at the same time. We got you, man. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, I just got some stats to talk about. That's pretty much it. So, over the last, uh, so, this is the third game. We've only allowed 14 points in the second in the second half, which I mean I am 100 percent proud of. If we can keep that going into BYU, we go to BYU. We don't let them score anything. I uh, in the second half, I count that as a win for us. Um, also, a few more stats. Uh, I mean, with Mitchell having two touchdowns already, Her uh, Rajay Harris having two touchdowns. And I mean, running back room is set solid. 
What do y'all think about that? Once again, Marlon Gunn getting in, showing us a little taste of the future there, Weave. And how about that? How fitting that a very hard-hitting beat-down game comes down to the last play of the game ends up being Marlon Gunn just putting, <laughs> laying the wood. Wait, dare I say he lowered the headgear. There you go. He did. And the last play of the game and, and put a, a statement on that. But I I, I tell you what, if, if there would have been one more minute left in this game and one more minute left in the Old Dominion game, he'd probably be in the end zone. And Isaac... Uh, that, like that, that, that's where I was going with after I was talking about Mitchell and uh, Harris. Yeah. Like, we, we have running back room for the next four years also. We still haven't seen Camaro Edmonds. The coaches are excited right, about him. Right, right, yeah. Uh, and it sounds corny, but it's true. Like, the Donnie Kirkpatrick said it today, Rajay and Keaton are the best. They're they're best friends. They're great teammates. They they root for one another. First guy off the bench when the touchdown scored is the other guy giving them a five. Yeah. And so, when you got that, man, I mean, that, that can only help. And uh, that running back room is stacked right now. Oh, definitely. And also, like, like, so with most other teams, like the culture of the team, you've got running backs going against each other. I feel like for ECU, it's more of like a like a team culture, like act, like an actual team culture. They're rooting for one another. Like if somebody can't get five yards or so, so like let's say Mitchell can't get five yards, Harris is going to go out there and get ten, and Mitchell's going to be proud of him just go do the same thing exactly. They're not going to be fighting for headroom yeah. on like whoever gets first snap. Yeah, I mean, Chandler and I were in the stands on a goal line situation saying, put in Rajay, Donnie, what are you doing? Because <laughs> uh, Keaton was in. But yeah. those guys, man, they root for each other. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Can we put thunder and lightning on the bingo card? Let's do it. <laughs> Smash and dash. Smash and dash. That's another thunder good one. Thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. Yeah. Call. All right, Isaac, anything else, man? Uh, one. Uh, yeah, one more thing about receiving. Receiving yards, uh, well, for passing yards, Ayla's got 537 for the year. He'll definitely pass 2,200. Like that, I know it's a hot take. 2,200 for the year is what I think Ailers will have for passing yards. Uh, receiving, uh, top's going to be either C.J. Johnson or Isaiah Winstead, one of the two. C.J. Johnson is definitely going to have more touchdowns for the rest of the year than uh, Winstead. But Winstead's going to have more receiving yards, which, I mean, it's not like that just adds depth to the whole uh, receiving core. But... Uh, I, don't, I don't know who's gonna. I don't know who's gonna come out over top in receiving yards and touchdowns. That's the only thing. But if y'all would talk about that, I'd be very appreciative. All right. Uh, well, on that note, Phil asked on Twitter a moment ago, uh, "When is the last time East Carolina had a 1,000 yard rusher and 1,000 yard receiver in the same season?" The answer is 2013. That was Ventavius Cooper and Justin Hardy. Last time they had it in each the same season. And we are on track for that again this year with Keaton Mitchell and I guess Isaiah Winstead, the leading receiver right now, but also could be CJ, could be Jalen, could be a number of them. Yeah. Um, I, Winstead's my guy. I, I I just think he is the most natural receiver. But again, it's like whoever's open, Ehlers is going to find them. And if they start to say, we got to get on this Winstead guy, then it's going to be Jones and CJ over the middle, or it's going to be Jalen on the other side. It's it's pick your poison, but I'll I'll say Winstead's going to have the most yards this year, but it could be a number of guys. Well, I do want to say that, you know, we should give a huge shout out to CJ Johnson because he has completely turned his not his game so much because he's still a big physical receiver. He's turned his attitude around. We have not seen him get in the face of any defensive backs. I mean, I've been keeping an eye on him uh, because he had that reputation of talking a lot on the field, doing things that maybe he didn't need to be doing. Um, of course, he had the issues where he was you know, suspended from the team for a while. He has done everything the right way in coming back to this team. He's become a leader. Um, he's out there. He just does his job on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's been it's been wonderful to see. So kudos to CJ, you know, for for saying, okay, I'm going to change the way I play this game and go out there, and I and I'm going to talk with my actions instead of my mouth. While we're giving shout outs, I got one for the big dog Glenn Griffin, CJ, and right now currently Chandler Honeycutt. Look at this, Billy. That looks good right there. Caller Isaac it does. And Greenville it does look good. on the screen on our uh, fifth quarter on YouTube and Facebook. And uh, just doing one more, just going that extra mile. Chandler, proud of you, buddy. Yes, okay, you yes know sir. We preach that here at Pirate Radio, and we just try to live it up. 
and do one more. And that's exactly what we do. Shout out to the big dog for making the yeah. uh, for making this uh, graphic here, this new feature that we have for uh, on game day coverage for the Bud Light pregame tailgate and also the fifth quarter call show. Have you put Billy's name up there? Can no. You, well, can't put Billy's name what? up there. But you know, you know what I like most about this. Taylor's pissed now. Did you see him shrug his shoulder? Like this mother, this guy's telling me something uh, to do. At the I'm gonna put. All right, never mind. So do you know what I I like most about that ribbon graphic right there? Put the weave. What is it covers up my belly a little bit, so you can't see my fat belly. Ah, yeah. See why when he Maybe when we he puts the call chairs us. lower. Well, that'll work Maybe too. We just have our heads above the table. <laughs> just the heads. All right, we got uh, open lines if you want to jump in three one seven twelve fifty on the U.S. Sailor fifth quarter call in show. A lot more to go. Taking your calls late into the evening. We're back with more after this. The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates. The doors open at noon, seven days a week. And the Buck has live music every night, along with football. Monday is open mic night, the first Monday of each month. Tuesday, it's karaoke with DJ Captain Morgan. Wednesday, it's acoustic night. Thursday, it's the dance party with DJ Kid Scene. And live music every Friday and Saturday night with the best bands on the East Coast. Follow the Buck on Instagram for information and schedule of events. This season, party like a pirate at the Buck. Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services partner. My whole business just went up in flames. But my agent was there before the fire was out. We started a plan. I've got 25 employees who could be out of a job if we didn't get this place running again. My independent agent and auto owner's insurance, they made sure we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we didn't miss a single payroll. That's incredible. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. This is Jeff Gibson with Town Insurance in Greenville. Call me today at 756-8300. Go Pirates! Hello, Pirate Nation. This is Kyle Gaines at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We are growing. So is our service department. We're adding more space to provide a faster, more affordable service for you. Come sit down with our team and let us customize your next Jeep or truck. Have the freedom to pick out your own lift, wheels, and tires, and more. Drive a little, save a lot when it comes to customizing your next vehicle. We're at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, located off 264 West in Washington, North Carolina. And online at WashingtonChryslerDodgeJeepRam.com. Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Russell from Russell's Clothing in downtown Washington. Believe it or not, fall weather is coming and we're ready for some pirate football. Russell's has a long history of dressing pirate fans, both men and women. For the men, we offer both logoed and non-logoed from Peter Millar, Johnny O, and Smathers and Branson. Our ladies love Tyler Bow, Crosby, and never a wallflower for game day. Join us in wishing the Pirates a healthy and successful season. And remember, for all your game day needs, shop Russell's in downtown Washington. Go Pirates! Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Holt Nailers for my friends at ArcPoint Labs. Just as I trust my teammates, you can trust ArcPoint Labs to give you quick and accurate results for your laboratory testing needs. ArcPoint Labs provides insights and solutions to enable individuals, businesses, and communities to make informed decisions on their health, safety, and well-being. Visit any of the six Eastern North Carolina ArcPoint Labs locations or go to arcpointlabs.com. Go Pirates! You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call in show. Here's Clip Brock. All righty, welcome back to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter call in show. You can visit one of ECU graduate Brandon Tate's U.S. Cellular, cellular locations cellular. and experience the high standard of customer service next to Little Caesars on Charles Boulevard in Greenville in front of Lowe's Home Improvement on Memorial Drive in Greenville. 
Next to Walmart on 10th Street in Greenville and the U.S. Sailor Store in the Greenville Mall behind the Chick-fil-A. Weave, let's get a quick Buccaneer Music Hall uh, leaderboard update mm. in Bristol. And uh, what do we got going on right now? 44 laps to go. Chris Busher out in front with my man, Chase Elliott, uh, in second. William Byron, Christopher Bell, and Kyle Larson just switched places at four and five. Uh, so, oh, man, we got somebody slowing up here. This uh, must win time yeah. for Kevin Harvick. So yep. he's going to need a couple of cautions here. He is 10th right now. Mm-hmm. If he wins, he can advance, but that's about it. So as we look at the playoff bubble, uh, Austin Cindric and Kyle Bush right there together uh in twelve and thirteen trying to uh to make it to the next stage of yeah. the playoffs. Yep. All right, uh Charlie is up. We have open lines, three one seven, twelve fifty, Charlie in Pittsburgh. Hello, Charlie. Hey Cliff, hey Billy. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. It's, it's great to be talking after a uh, a pirate win and a convincing pirate win over a team that you really should have done that to. Uh, and that's that just great. It was a great day. The weather was great. We had a great tailgate, with friends and family, and really, it's just tough to beat. Um, but two little things I want to say real quick. One, I'm, I've, I've been really happy. I know some other callers have said this. I've been really happy all year with the lack of penalties against the Pirates because uh, I mean that, that you know that, I mean a, a lot of things give me hope in this uh, in this coaching staff. But uh, lack of penalties really makes me feel good because that's something that is extremely coachable. You can, you know, you can really eliminate penalties or bring them way down, and that seems like what we're doing. And I, I'm really happy to see that. And um, and also those last couple of series there in the fourth quarter, getting to see Mason Garcia and Gun. I mean, that's, uh, it, you know, you, you got to be optimistic about the way this program's going. Um, and uh, and you know, also uh, as entertaining as some of those uh, those bad fifth quarter shows during the last administration were, it's nice to have a fifth quarter where everybody's just happy and calling in and contented. So I'm happy about that, and I hope everybody will come out next weekend. And uh, let's get let's get conference play started off right. These boys are on a roll, and um, I think we can do something in this conference this year. So um, anyway, thank y'all for taking my call. Go Pirates! Y'all have a good one. All right, Charlie, and uh, I'll co-sign on that. It is nice to have a positive fifth quarter with a lot of happy Pirate fans, and Billy and I can uh, be in a good jovial mood as well because it hasn't always been that way here. So, well, I tell you what, you know, when the Pirates aren't playing well, um, the fifth quarter, while uh, not happy, is entertaining at times. But let me tell you what, that's what the first, second, third, and fourth quarters are for entertainment to be entertained. It's our job here on the fifth quarter, hopefully, to be happy at the end. And that's that's the nice part of it that. Now we're happy in the fifth quarter and that this program is heading in the right direction. All right, uh, Mason is up in Knoxville. Hey, Mason. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, hey. Uh, hey, man, those camels were crushing our defense in the first quarter. Have me worried. They're finding all the holes in the zone. What do y'all think about our defense? How did it look in the first? Well, they gave up some some big plays, but like I said, their their offensive line, Campbell's offensive line, there's some big boys up there. I mean, they're I don't know what their average. Did you guys say on the pregame show what their average? I, I think they were averaging well over 320 on their offensive line, which is huge. Oh yeah, and they've, yeah. I'm, they're just a big physical offensive line. They've got guys on that offensive line that are going to play in the NFL. I mean, they really are. So, and and I think you know you can practice against that. Uh, you try to practice against that all you you want. But I mean, Campbell came out and they they wanted to try and and you know set the tempo early and set the running game early and and get the defense on their heels. And I think they did a good job of that early on. And then the Pirates settled in. Um, the coaching staff. You know what? so much credit to the coaching staff making in-game adjustments and that's things that's been a problem here at East Carolina for a long time and not just uh, by one or two different uh, coaches but it's it's happened in the past where East Carolina hasn't made adjustments this team defensively makes adjustments and you can see it on the field I agree we look great in the second half Mike Minner's got a good team down there in Campbell though he does they're, they're a good team and I was just about to get out of there with a W I was worried about it but uh, you know we're good Right, we're going to win nine, ten games this year. Conference, not Conference Tuesday, AAC Championship right there, baby. Well, and it would be the first AAC Championship and the first since the Conference USA back-to-back championships. That would be nice yeah. to see. It would. It would be great. Well, I appreciate it, guys. I'll let you get back to it. All right. Thanks, Mason, for the call and the comments. If you uh, 
are an impatient person and don't like waiting on hold, now's your time. 317-1250. You can jump in to the U.S. Sailor fifth quarter call-in show and uh, chat with Weave and I. Chandler, I hadn't looked at the video. You got it. Uh, oh, it just went away. Oh, there it is. How you like that, Weave? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> Rooster neck Billy Weaver. <laughs> that is some good stuff. Can we take a screenshot of that? Yeah, let's make love sure we that. get a uh, screenshot of Absolutely that. Absolutely love that. Weave can add to the resume. Now impress me and put a rooster on there. <laughs> <laughs> let's make Chandler work <laughs> here late we'll on a, uh, a Saturday night. All right, uh, I'll tell you what, while we don't have calls, let's get another break in, Shirley, because we got to have our great sponsor's voice be heard here on this program we'll come back with our brown and wood drive the game and also more of your calls jump in now 317-1250 we're back with more u.s sailor fifth quarter call-in show after this country mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around country mart is open every day and has two locations in bethel on highway 11 and in stokes on highway 903 both country mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners country mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline Go Pirates! Hello, Pirate Nation. This is Jamie Lang with Carolina Hardscapes, and we're excited to announce that we're Eastern North Carolina's premier fiberglass pool installation company. We partnered with industry-leading San Juan Pools so that we can build the backyard of your dreams. Whether it's an outdoor fireplace, patio, outdoor kitchen, or now a pool, give us a call at 364-1201 or find us on the web at carolinahardscapesandmulch.com so we can make your backyard the place to be. Go Pirates! Take a hit from a 300-pound linebacker, and you better be wearing pads. Take a hit on the road, and you better have good auto coverage. When you've got North Carolina Farm Bureau Auto Insurance, you've got the best local agent ready to help you bounce back. If you don't, well, you'll probably play football without a helmet, too. In Pitt County, call Carlton Venters or C.J. Messerly at 252-756-3007. North Carolina Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Insurance of North Carolina Incorporated, Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Jackson, Mississippi, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. Do you have any real estate questions about buying or selling residential or commercial properties? Are you curious about this current real estate market? Do you need a property manager for all your rental houses? This is proud ECU alum Scott Harris with Remax Preferred Realty and SD Harris Properties, and I would love to help answer every question you have and show you a real estate experience that will be memorable and enjoyable. Every step of the way, I'm here to make your dreams a stress-free reality. Call me today at 347-1857. That's 347-1857. Go Pirates! Hey, Pirate Nation, Shimmer Boutique is your one-stop shop for all your tailgate essentials. This is Holt Nailers, and if you need a Yeti cooler, apparel, shoes, or accessories for the season, Shimmer has you covered. Shimmer Boutique is also the exclusive retailer in Greenville, carrying the largest selection of built and broken gear for adults and youth. Be ready for game day and every day at Shimmer Boutique on Greenville Boulevard behind Starbucks and in Winterville across from Lowe's. Go Pirates! Hey, Pirate Nation, this is Holt Nailers. And when it comes to getting your family together, there's no better place than Familia, which is Italian for family. Familia is the place I like to bring my football family, especially my offense alignment. Whether it's great New York-style pizzas, homemade meatballs, lasagna, chicken parmesan, or delicious homemade desserts, Familia is a winning play every time. For dine-in or takeout, make Familia your go-to play when you have a hungry team. Familia on Fire Tower Road near Pitt Community College. Go Pirates! This is Ryan Jones, and you listen to Power Radio, the voice of the Power Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular Fifth Quarter Postgame Call In Show. Here's Clip Brock. Now, with the Pirate Radio scoreboard, here's Shirley Rhodes. All right, there is 28 seconds left in the swamp right now it is fourth down for south florida they were in the red zone and a bad snap caused them to go all the way back to almost the 40 yard line and florida has taken their final time out to try to save some time and uh, discuss what they're going to do so we'll keep an eye on this game 
as well. Uh, other games going on right now. It is Texas 31, UTSA 20 in the third quarter. Texas A&M still holding on to that 10-3 lead over Miami at the half. It is Fresno State and USC. They have kicked off. No score as of yet. And uh, Clemson beating up on Louisiana Tech 34-6. It is Pitt 34, Western Michigan 13. And Spencer Schrader for USF is going to attempt a field goal here to uh, try to take the game. Fourth and 18. Snap, hold, Snap, hold. Kick, kick is, is up. No it is good. no good. And Florida is going to escape a scare by, uh, that was a 48-yard attempt, by the way, uh, for South Florida. That is a look at your Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard brought to you by the Buccaneer Beacon of Music in the Land of the Pirates. They're open from noon until 2 a.m. with live music every night along with football. Follow the Buck on Facebook and Instagram for an updated schedule. And we'll see you at the Buck. Now let's head back into the show. Here's Clip. All right, the Gators escape an upset there from South Florida. All right, uh, welcome back into the program. Clip Rock, Billy Weaver, thinking about lunch already for tomorrow. How about Parker's Barbecue? I'll uh, hook this up with some awesome post-game food tonight that we'll be enjoying uh, on Sunday. What you got, Weave? One lap to go in Bristol. Looks like Chris Busher is going to hold off chase elliott for the win and that means uh kevin harvick kevin is gone. harvick is he finished 10th <clears throat> so uh so, we'll yeah. uh, we'll get an update on who advances in the playoffs here in a moment but we have randy up in washington right now and some open lines if you want to jump in 317-1250 randy how you doing oh just fine um it's nice to have the swagger back what a what a bowl game would be to have ecu and app state play I mean, you couldn't print enough tickets. But um, I've got I've got an old issue that I want to bring back up. And, you know, following football like I do, and you watch Duke, you watch Wake Forest, Carolina State, and at the end of the game you have a highway patrolman, North Carolina highway patrolman, home and away, follow the coach out on the field. And we have a campus cop. Now, he does a great job. I, uh, there's no security problems whatsoever, and that's not the issue I'm bringing up. But why does North Carolina State Highway Patrol get to fly with the team, go with the team, with these other teams, but we don't get a highway patrolman? And and, and why would you why would you answer that question for me, Billy? I don't have an answer. For I don't that. know. <laughs> I got no idea. I don't. I, don't I never know. really delved into that. No. But well, I'm, but let me let me tell you what. Chris Sutton, I wouldn't, w- I wouldn't want to have anyone other but any person other than him beside my side. That's not the issue. The issue is that North Carolina is paying for a North Carolina State Highway Patrolman. I, I don't care to have the patrolman. I, I think we have great security. Then give us the money that it costs to have a highway patrolman fly around with the team. For all these other schools, why don't we get ours? I just want to be fair. Maybe we didn't want one. <laughs> maybe we wanted our, our ECU guys instead. I don't know the answer to that, but maybe that's the, maybe maybe it's not a that we don't get one. Maybe we just didn't want one. And if you find that to be the answer, then then you just answered my question. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, I don't know that that's the answer. I'm just playing devil's advocate, so I don't know the answer to that. Uh, Steve Logan used to have some Loganism that when I, mean, I would ask this to him and, and, and he would have some answer or something about it. And it was hilarious what he would answer. How long have you been asking this question, Randy? Now, now, Randy, you know, you do know that we used to have a state highway patrolman do that job, don't you? Tim, I, Tim Crumpler used to do that, and he's still with the – if I'm not mistaken, I think he is still with the highway patrol, if I'm not mistaken. I don't recall a highway patrolman watching the game or being at the game. Well, I know for a fact because I know the highway patrolman very well, Tim Crumpler. I just gave you his name. Right. I, 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 maybe I just missed it, but it, it, just tonight watching Duke, Wake Forest, the state game, there was a full bird cor- colonel, uh, I mean a high-ranking highway patrolman at the, at the game. So, like I said, I want the same. I just want the same uh, opportunity for East Carolina. So it's, it's just about fairness for the across the state, across the board, and and, and they, Appalachian State and and Campbell should get the same thing. All right, Randy. Well, All right, we'll check into that. 
I won't, but Billy, you can check I'm gonna check. No, I'm going to check into it. I really am. Thank you, Randy. Um, David had a very simple answer for that question. He said, it's local politics, bud. Local politics. Local hey, politics, can we bud. put that on the uh, the Oh, that's already up there. Is it? Oh, good, yeah, good, that's good, definitely good, up there. Good. All right, we go next to Stephen, former state highway patrolman. <laughs> Here we go. You never know where the show will turn. Hello, Stephen. Hi, how you doing? Good. I just wanted to let you know that that is an East Carolina decision. There you go, Billy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I kind of figured that might be the case. Who Who is now Captain Tim Crumpler. That's right. He's the captain of Troop A, who's in charge of 29 counties. He was with Skip Holtz. That's right. An East Carolina athletics decision. Yep. I used to... Uh, be with the visiting teams as the visiting teams escort, uh, which is now handled by uh, Sergeant Doug Delaney, who is with the Pitt County Sheriff's Office. We used to do the visiting team escorts for the coaches there. Um, Captain Crumpler did with Skip Holtz. When he stepped down, it was done by East Carolina Athletics to have the ECU officer with the head coach. Chris Sutton was yeah, rough. Yeah, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Sutton, amazing person, yep. amazing leader. Amazing family. Amazing, amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, he, I don't think he was uh, over that decision. That is uh, East Carolina decision, and I just felt like, after that call, I wanted to let you know what was going on. Well, thank you. I had yeah, no I, input on it, and uh, Billy had a guess on it. Sounds like you were correct on your guess. What you yeah, said. well, and I knew about Tim Crumpler because, yeah. like I said, he's he's a good friend. I, I love Tim. You know, I remember going on road trips and, and just having a great time and a lot of good conversations with him on road trips that we had uh, during the uh, Skip Holtz era, and that was a lot of fun. So, yeah, I, I'm, Stephen, so, so glad that you called in and, and cleared all that up. He is an amazing leader and one hell of a captain and that's all i'll say about that there you go well thanks steven appreciate you uh getting the word out for us thank you yes sir thank you all right that's why the fifth quarter is awesome that's right if uh if i'm just have... glad old rooster neck got one right there you go billy <laughs> on the air too you, you've got a lot of stuff right you just i just got did it on not, the air. not on the air yeah just didn't, <laughs> just didn't tell anybody speaking of rooster neck your wish is my command oh Check did you out. get me a rooster oh did i Oh, it better be a good one. Stuff the rooster. (laughs) Oh man! Let me see. Hold on a second. Did you get the rooster? That is a rooster Uh, neck. You know Hugh. Hugh, damn right. You're damn right. (laughs) You're damn right. Good wow. rooster. We are uh, we're having uh, fun here on the show. That is the rooster. Hey, you guys ever you ever watched that show, The Ranch, on Netflix? I have not. No. No. I've heard, I've so heard then it's funny. There's yeah. a character rooster that, well, he's not on there anymore. Long story about that. But he got canceled. He, yeah, he got canceled. Okay. <laughs> Basically. All right. Uh, here with the rooster neck, Billy Weaver. I'm Cliff Brock. We'll take a break, come back. Brown and Wood drive the game. We'll also hear some comments from Mike Houston. And uh, we want to hear more from you. If you've got questions, we might not always have the answers, but somebody out there does. So uh, well done, Stephen, uh, with the answer there. Let's take a break. We'll come back. More to go after this. While you're sleeping, our whole hogs are slow cooking over wood to create that bite that Eastern North Carolina is known for. I'm Sam Jones, and for more than three generations, my folks have been the torchbearers for what whole hog barbecue is supposed to be. At Sam Jones, you'll find plenty of smoke, but no mirrors. Everything, and I mean everything, is made fresh daily, including our sides, sweets, and sauces. Come on over and see us at Sam Jones Barbecue, and I bet you'll be able to taste our passion in just one bite. Sam Jones Barbecue, Fire Tower Road. Love is never having to say you're sorry for your internet. Because with Metronet, you get fast, reliable, 100% fiber speeds you'll love with unlimited data so you can stream, study, surf, and game on all your devices simultaneously. No lag times or buffering. Metronet offers student deals. Get 100 megabit internet for just $39.95 a month. Switch to Metronet today at metronet.com forward slash switch. Metronet, love your internet. 
Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Keep it local. Print it local with University Sportswear. UniversitySportswearENC.com is your one-stop shop for all promotional products for your business. With over 1 million items to shop from, UniversitySportswearENC.com offers high-quality products at prices to fit any budget. Visit UniversitySportswearENC.com for contact information and to get shopping. UniversitySportswearENC.com, the official sportswear provider of Pirate Radio. This is Braxton Green with Angel Oak Home Loans. If you're looking to purchase a home, it is still a great time, and being pre-qualified before you begin shopping is an advantage. At Angel Oak, we offer a wide variety of programs ranging from conventional, government, and portfolio loans that can fit most financial situations. To get started, contact our experienced team of Talbot Green, Joanne Weir, Wanda Hager, or myself, Braxton Green, at 751-2060. NMLS 1719250, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome to US Cellular, where new and current customers choose any phone they want for free. Free? Even the one with 5G and lots of storage? Free. And the one with the latest everything? Free. At US Cellular, any phone you see is free, whether you're a new or current customer. US Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Terms apply. See uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for US Cellular since 1997. Visit AtlanticWireless.com to find the store near you. We go beyond the call. The Rick House is Eastern North Carolina's premier American-style restaurant and bourbon bar with daily specials. And here's the lineup. Mondays feature $7 margaritas and half-price appetizers. Tuesday is stuffed seafood night. Wednesday is date night. Thursday is roasted smoked lamb chop night. Fridays is prime rib night. And Saturday is Italian night and is also Fred and Wilma night with our 36-ounce bone-in tomahawk steak just like the Flintstones. And on Sunday is our legendary brunch from 10 to 2. The Rick House, American provisions and spirits 710 Red Banks Road beside the bowling alley in Greenville. Pirate Radio. Join the crew. Fire those things that go bang. <laughs> the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call in show. Here's Clip Brock. All righty, 317-1250, open lines here as uh, we are beyond the 11 o'clock hour here on a Saturday eve. Talking about a 49-10 East Carolina victory over the Campbell fighting Camels tonight, and they did fight, give them credit, but East Carolina once again dominant in the second half of play. And going into the half weave is very important. The yes. middle eight, coaches call them, end of the first mm-hmm. half, the final four minutes, yep. and uh, beginning four of the second half. And East Carolina scored two touchdowns in the middle eight tonight. And we're going to highlight the one going into the break on our Brown and Wood drive of the game, brought to you by Brown and Wood, serving the Pirate Nation in Eastern North Carolina since 1937. Brown and Wood, your number one dealership in Greenville. Brown and Wood on Greenville Boulevard, Greenville Online, Brown and Wood Alto. Dot com seven plays 80 yards ends with on the field an incomplete pass from Holt Naylor's to CJ Johnson they took a look at it weave and uh, he had a toe down when he caught the ball yeah and we were talking about that in the break weirdest play because usually the receiver when they come down they try to get that front foot down first well his front foot was out of bounds but hadn't touched out of bounds and his back foot he toes just inside uh, the pylon and got it down. So correct call after a lengthy review Very. on the field. And that worried me a little bit. Sitting in the stands, I thought, okay, they're not going to overturn this. There's just no way. They came back, said the review uh, uh, came back, and the the play on the field had been – the call on the field had been reversed. Touchdown. Place erupted. It was 21-10 at that point, and from then on, all Pirates. You think they were like, uh, I don't know if we can overturn this. And then the ref's like, look – the whole team's on the field. I got the students here. We got to call this a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm not yeah. getting out of here. Or I'm not getting out of so here. Let's, yeah. let's just call let's it a just, touchdown. Yeah, let's just do it. And he says, Billy, it's incomplete. And he said, you're not down here, are you, Mike? <laughs> I'm here in the middle of this. It's a touchdown. <laughs> it's a touchdown. Overruled. Uh, but, no, they made the right call. We it saw was, it pretty yeah, clear. Yeah. But you're right. Some of those where you have to overturn them. Like, uh, we've seen those calls not go that way before. So. And, and good job by all the camera, because there were 
four. Absolutely. There Good were about point. four different camera yeah. angles inside the stadium on the scoreboard. Yep. And the one that was the best was the one coming at CJ's the – CJ's like coming at the camera. At the camera. Yeah. And the guys on the sideline in the corner, that was the perfect one. That right there, you knew, okay, that's a touchdown. 10-4, Billy. That was uh, – sometimes we have like one or two angles. Right. Somehow we had like nine on that play. <laughs> there, were, and it, there were at least four different angles on that, and that was nice to see. It helped us out. Uh, all right, we got a couple callers now. Ben, uh, by the way, that was our Brown and Wood drive of the game, thanks to Brown and Wood. All right, Ben, hang on. Let's go to Ryan and Wilson. Hey, Ryan. Hello. I have a question on the fact of that um, Marlon Gunn. What, do you, what is your opinion on him? He's tough. A tough running back. It looks like he's going to be a good running back at East Carolina. Yeah, and I think he's a guy that's not afraid to run in between the tackles. He's got size. He's got speed. Um, he's just behind two really good players right if now. If Marlon Gunn was here the year Rajay Harris came in and played, like Marlon Gunn would be playing right now. Right. Because Rajay Harris earned his spot with some upperclassmen, Darius Penix and others were ahead of him, and he came to practice, worked his butt off, earned a spot. If if Gunn was in that situation, he'd be playing every week. The problem is he's behind Keaton Mitchell and Rajay, so yeah. he can't f- find a spot on the field. But, man, he, he looks like he's going to be a good one. All right. All right. That's the answer. All right. Hey, you know what? Something I, I meant to mention, too, that we haven't mentioned on the postgame show. I liked that we had talked about this last week, that we wanted to see some of the playmakers getting out in space. Saw a couple of plays where – we were getting players, some of the skilled players, out in space. Um, you know, with dumps out into the flats. Um, there was a reverse that was called. Didn't go a whole lot um, very far, if I remember correctly. But there were a couple plays where I remember saying, okay, there you go. Well, they tried out in space. to get Josiah Hatfield uh, have a big debut with some gadget plays right. and things like that. And... and one went for a loss. One went for a little bit. But yeah. he's a guy they're going to try to find different ways to get him the football. Right. And uh, it's good to see him back. Also made a big play on special teams. Uh, 88 down the field making a tackle. I think Ryan Jones. Ryan Jones well. came, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he had so. a big play on special teams. All right, Ben, you're up next in Halifax. Hello, Ben. How you been? Where Hello, you, where, where you been? Ben. See you, Ben. Yeah, it's Ben. Uh, so that was Ben. If you have uh, any thoughts, 317-1250, you can give us a call on the Pit Electric Live line. Shirley, uh, can we pull up a Mike Houston cut or two before we take a timeout? You want to take a break and then go to him? You tell me. Tell me, queen. <laughs> break. Shirley says break. All right, when we return, we'll have some Mike Houston comments, maybe some player comments as well. As we roll on into the night on the U.S. Sailor Fifth Quarter Call In Show. And we have open lines if you want to jump in. 317 1250 back after this. ASAP Party and Tent Rentals is your one stop shop for weddings, anniversaries, corporate events, family reunions, birthday parties, or any celebration with friends and family. ASAP Party and Tent Rentals has the widest selection of tents, tables, chairs, linens, china, concession equipment, bounce rides, games, staging, wedding equipment, dance floors, and so much more. At ASAP Party and Tent Rentals, we help people get together. Call today at 756 7903. ASAP Party and Tent Rentals, locally owned and operated on Diamond Drive in Greenville near Agri Supply and Equipment Plus. North Carolina State Parks is proud to announce that they have partnered with the Hometown Strong Program. Our visitor centers are now equipped with public Wi-Fi to help kids with school. Remote learning has become a critical public health measure in maintaining social distance and continuing to educate our young people. Take advantage of Wi-Fi and a hike at Goose Creek State Park or a day trip to the beach and access remote learning at Fort Macon State Park. For more information, visit hometownstrong.nc.gov. This is John Gavigan with the Gavigan Agency. Our top priority is doing what is best for our members. Whether you are buying a new vehicle, a new home, protecting your family with life insurance, or filing a claim, our agency will be there every step of the way. Our goal is to become a trusted advisor for you and your family for all of your personal and commercial insurance needs. Give us a call in Greenville at 756-1400 for a car, home, business, or life insurance quote today. And give us the opportunity to show you the benefits of doing business with someone who cares. 
Hi, I'm Annalie Newhoff. And I'm Rob Campbell. And, and we, we are, are with Copy Pro. Pro. We have been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for almost 50 years. Copy Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at Copy Pro, total customer satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at 1 800 682 6558 or online at copypro.net. Copy Pro. We are the professional office systems people. The convenience of Pitt Greenville Airport is waiting just outside your front door. Service is back, so you're connected to destinations worldwide through flights from American Airlines. Plan your next trip. Book your flights today at flypgv.com or aa.com. Avoid the long check-in lines and congestion at the big airports and fly local at PGV. Fast, convenient, and close to home, PGV has American Airlines flights perfect for your next trip. Book today at aa.com. PGV, where the pirates fly. Winslow's is now Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tap Room. With a brand new look, Fifth Street Hardware also has a new menu and serving lunch and dinner every Tuesday through Sunday and brunch starting at 1030 on Sundays. What else is new? Well, they have poker every Tuesday night, trivia Wednesday with DJ Captain Morgan, and on Friday and Saturday nights, they have live music open until 2 a.m. serving light appetizers all night long. New look, new name, same location on Fifth Street. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram for more specials. Fifth Street Hardware Restaurant and Tap Room. Hey, everybody, this is David Glenn, and you're listening to my favorite station in eastern North Carolina, Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call-in show. Here's Clip Brock. <laughs> All right, if We're anybody a wants to settle a debate, debate. I think Billy is wrong. Billy, of I'll course, settle it for you. thinks he's right. Okay. Is the song One Week by Bare Naked Ladies been in the one movie since you American Pie? Me. I don't think so. I don't either. I'm pretty um, sure it's not. Let me Google it up. Now, you well. know there's more than one American Pie. Yes, there okay. are three of them. All right, fine. So, so if it's in any of the American the Pies, right? Yeah, the franchise. Okay. Now he's changing his... What? I said American Pie. I didn't you say... You never which... mentioned that. But I think of American Pie. I don't remember if it's one or two or right. ten. It's definitely not in the first American Pie. Okay, well, maybe it's in the second one then. Could be, but... Uh, it's been... Yeah, it's been... been one of the American pulling Pies. Pulling it up right now. All right, fair enough. Sound Because I remember the guy... List? That uh, it's not on the number one soundtrack. I know that for a fact. It is not on number two. It's in the movie. I don't think so, Billy. Why do I always think of American Pie when I hear that song? I don't know. Maybe you were listening to it while watching American Pie. I don't know. Maybe I was in an American Pie and I was eating an American Pie. You're eating some banana pudding. And I said, Warren Spen. Uh, one week since you left. David has a real question. Unfortunately, you are incorrect, Billy Weir. Gosh. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna look at one. Is there another movie that that song was in? <laughs> Hold on. He's not giving that up. That song was in a, no, in a movie. Can you not give up? No. Uh, I'll Google what mo- what movie is one week and span uh, bare naked bare naked ladies. ladies. It's been it's a, it's in a movie. Um, why don't we just Google the song and okay. see if it All comes right. up with uh, like in pop culture or whatever? Um. Where is in pop culture? It has been feet. What? 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 Oh! Oh! Hold on. Yes! No way. Yes! What? What's it say? Read it. Read it, Clip. The song has been... (laughs) Read it! (laughs) The song has been featured numerous times in other media featuring films... That can't be right. Read it! Digimon. Woo! Digi- that's Digimon. No, I don't care about no, it's no not, damn Shirley. Digimon. It's, it's, it's Digimon. It's Digimon. No, it's Digimon. It's Digimon. But what's American behind Pie. that? American Pie. Thank you. How did I... M- Man, well, I, I'm didn't, on I didn't fire look at the first tonight. one. I you didn't know look what? At the first one. I think Billy went into Wikipedia during the break <laughs> and put that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've... Okay, fine. It says what All it right. says. I knew it because every time I hear that song, I think of American Pie, and I think of the character. I don't remember the character's name. The main character, yeah. he's in his bedroom in his underwear, like dancing. Jim. Jim. Yeah. yeah. 
and he's dancing to that song, and I think Actually, it's at it's the listen. very end of the movie. All right, he plays got... twice in the film, once during one of the party scenes, and during the end of the film, end where the Jim's film. dad yes. watches Jim stripping yes. at the webcam. Thank you. Knew I wasn't crazy. It you guys had me doubting myself. It was myself. featured in the movie, but it was not on the soundtrack. All right. Thank you. Rob says, I'm with Billy. Uh, East NC59 says, it was the first one at Stifler's party. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I was wrong. It's been one week since I was right. Whole Nailers made history tonight, and this is the first time I've ever been wrong in my life. Unbelievable. <laughs> history has been made. All right. Um, Shirley, you want to hear from Mike Houston after the game? Uh, yes. This uh, is his. Uh, this is a response to a question about um, what uh, Holt Nailers has meant to this program as far as, especially since he set the record coming up tonight. All right. I don't know what you can put into words. Uh, I said my introductory press conference, I remember him standing just just behind the cameras. Um, and he's you know, one of the first kids I met. He was sitting on the front row when I, when I was introduced to the team. And he's been the, the steady constant uh, ever since I've been here. Uh, he's a great leader in the locker room. He's a phenomenal role model in the community. Uh, he's a role model for my two sons. Uh, he's, he's a pleasure to be around every single day. I mean, it's you, you couldn't ask for someone to be uh, more than what he's been, and nobody's perfect. Listen, to listen, he's not perfect, but I'm just telling you, I've I've coached a lot of guys over the years, and he is he is one of the more enjoyable players I've ever had, and I just respect him so much for the way he the way he plays. He's a tough freaking kid. Uh, he's a great player, uh, and he's just a phenomenal human being. So I'm just I'm blessed that God's allowed me to have you know a few years with him, and uh, I'm going to enjoy every day I've got with him until he's done. Mike Houston there uh, on Holton Naylor's what he has meant to this program. When Holton was being recruited by Ruffin McNeil, East Carolina was going through some pretty good days. But by the mm -hmm. time Holton got here, uh, the days had had turned a little bit. So he has uh, he was recruited when things were up. He played when things were down, and now he is um, one of the pe one of the reasons East Carolina is on the track back up. You know, and kudos to him, too, in this day and age of, you know, transfer portal yeah. and guys being able to, you know, switch teams at the drop of a hat. He's never wavered once. Uh, he's hometown guy. And and he's been sought out. He wouldn't oh yeah. tell us straight up, but right, like he, right. he's been asked. Absolutely. How you, how you feeling over there at East Oh, Carolina? absolutely. You, if you don't think that goes on more now than ever before, sure. then you're, you're you know, you're you're fooling yourself. You got your head in the sand because that is going on. There is recruiting going on within programs inside the transfer portal. I mean, there it, it's happening every day, all the time. Yeah. Uh, so he's he's had those opportunities. He never wavered. Um, has always said from the very beginning, this I want to bring East Carolina back to what I knew as a kid. And that's always been something that's been really yeah. cool about him. And he is a uh, part of it right now. And he came back this year because he was ready to have a special season. And who knows how, how it's going to turn out. But it's looking good right now as East Carolina moves to 2-1 and one on the year. Navy coming up next. Let's see what we can do in conference play. We've had a lot of calls tonight, Weave, about this feels like a team that is going to have something to say when it comes to uh, the top of the AAC standings. Yeah, and when you talk about Navy, you always think about that triple option. You always think it gives defenses fits, but you got to remember Blake Harold. He's he's played against that. He's practiced against that. He you know he coached at Lenore Ryan and the Citadel. The Citadel ran those triple options, so he saw that in practice day in day out, and that's a reason why his teams play well against Navy in that triple option. So Blake Carroll's going to have those guys ready, um, and as long as those guys play tough assignment football next week, they'll be successful at home again. All right. Um... Do we have this call ready? No, we don't. Uh, we'll have a call here in just a moment. Looking at some other scores real quick on the Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard presented by Da Buck. Da Buck, Da Buck, Da Buck, Da Buck, Da Buck. Sorry, I had to get first that in one there. Of the night. first one of the night. Washington hammered uh, Michigan State. Go Commanders. Oh, sorry. No, nah, wrong Washington. Oh, wrong. But maybe yeah. a good omen for tomorrow. Maybe. Did you see? Apparently they were selling Washington mugs. Uh, Washington. With the Commander's Commander logo mugs? on it with the state outline of Washington at the stadium last week. No, I didn't eh, see that. Just another embarrassment. But, hey, we won the game. That's all I care about. <laughs> uh, uh, Washington beat Michigan State. Jeez. Texas up on UTSA 38-20. to That score 
uh, future AAC team. Yeah, and have been feisty this year, yeah. but not a ton to show for it because they're going to drop to one and two. Right? Yeah, they've been they've been good. They lost a. They played two overtime games to start the year, beat Army, and lost to Houston in OT. Yeah. Uh, Texas A&M all over Miami right now, 17-3. to That score, although Miami is knocking on the doorstep, but they're going to settle for a field goal here. And kind of getting this late in the third. Short chip shot field yeah, goal. But bad about? angle. Bad angle. <laughs> what do you think about this decision? Fourth <laughs> and goal. Bad angle. Four uh, minutes left in the third. Th- yeah. And I don't gonna, hate it. I don't hate it. They cut it to 11. Yeah, I don't hate it because that's a two-score game. You figure a uh, touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. All right. Uh, still a lot of game to play. You Wait. have a caller from the ca- hollering capital of the world. Hog hollering capital. Hog hollering. Okay, William is up in Spivey's corner. Hey, but hey, if William doesn't give us a hog call, then we're gonna hang up on him. Woo pig, woo pig. That'll work. There we go. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> What's up, William? Real great game for the Pirates, I thought. But I was calling to see what is the status of our new song for interceptions. You know, the song we've got now for fumbles is Jeff on it. Oh, that's right. We talked about that. That's right. I'm they fine do. with what they do, but I know that you are. Are you the guy that called last week, mm-hmm. William? Yep. Did you come up with a song? Hey. Yeah, what do you got for us? It's been one week <laughs> since you. <laughs> Can we hear <laughs> some bare naked ladies? <laughs> What's your uh, suggestion, William? Uh, I hadn't really got one. Uh, I was waiting. I want to see what everybody else has come up with. Well, if you got a problem, you got to come up with a solution. I, I like jump on it. I get your point that it's not literal where you do jump on a fumble. Although sometimes you just scoop up a fumble or rip out a fumble. But uh, I like jump on it for all turnovers. I get what you're saying, but I think it's a good party song to get the people going. I have no problem with it. Yeah. I think I think that's it. It's got to be a party song. And I was thinking a celebration, but that's for the end of the game. Celebrate. Good. That's like when you win. I'm from the old school. Now, we could go back with Joe Tex and I got you. No, I'm not familiar with that. I'm, I'm not, not either. Can you sing it, it for us? Yeah. I'm sorry. Can you sing it for us? <laughs> I got you. Uh huh. Yeah. Everybody sing there. I can't. That's all I can remember. I got you. All right. <laughs> I got you. Just play that sound cut at <laughs> Daddy Ficklin Station. I, I, I tell you what, every time, uh. every time we have an interception, they hey, should have James a mic Brown. and hand it to William. I think a James Brown song. Yeah. Jump back. I want to kiss myself. Hey, I got an ass in my pants underneath the damn. I'm going to bring James Brown and say, ow. There you go. Good. I feel good. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. How about this? Yeah. How about... Papa's got a brand new bag. No, 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 no. No, no. Papa's got a brand new bag. Mm-mm. Nothing, nothing. I like William. <laughs> William, anything else, man? That's all, gang. Good, good show tonight. Thanks, bud. All right, thanks. Take care. William, bringing the energy man. late night. That's I good. I love those calls. From I got. I, corner. I gotta yeah. remember to think of a good song. There's got to be a good song though. I mean, I, I'm with you, though. I like I don't to know jump if it's on broke, it. You know what I mean? I don't think it's broke either, but I'm just just for entertainment purposes yeah. and because you, we know William's going to call back next week and ask if we've come up with a song. So now the onus is on me to kind of figure out one. Do we have another break, Shirley? Yes. Why don't we just do Red Hot Chili Pepper? Ch- chili Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Hot Chili Pepper. I'd like to buy a vowel. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Or is there a take it, take it, take it away, take it away, take it away now. Take Take it to to the the limit. limit. That's too slow. That's too slow. I know. Give Give it away, away. give it away, give give it away away now. It's not bad, Shirley. That's actually really good, Shirley. I like that. What I got, you got to give it to your mama. That's what I got. You got to give it to your mama. What I got, you got to give it to your papa. How many times do I have to be right before you guys start listening to me? I'm listening. I am listening. Bye. Yes, we have another break, Cliff. All right, when we return, <laughs> uh, Billy has a complaint about tonight. I do, that speaking of music. Me, speaking, speaking of music. He told me before the show that he hasn't talked about yet. I wasn't going to, I was gonna, not going to be negative Nelly, but I mean. So we're going to have Billy's complaint when we return. All right. And yeah. uh, more if you want to call in, 317 1250. We're back after this.
Hey Pirates, this is Holt Nailers. A big part of my success on the field is what I eat at home. To keep my body filled up, I order meals off a Clean Eats meal plan. I choose the meals I want from six different meals offered each week, and I pick them up on Sunday or Monday at the cafe on Red Banks Road. Each meal is packed with the perfect mix of healthy proteins, carbs, and veggies to keep my engine running at full speed. Go to cleaneats.com, click on meal plans, or stop by the cafe and get all the info. Clean Eats and the Pirates, a winning combination. BMS Builders is your premier custom builder in Eastern North Carolina. With homes in Blackwood, Mills Creek, Dalton's Cove and Farmville, and Belmar and Aiden, they're constantly expanding. Now to Laurel Glen and Sarah's Way, plus the new duplex community at Abigail Trails. BMS Builders can build the home of your dreams. Just ask Dr. Dennis Ross in Greenville or ECU football coach Mike Houston. They built their homes and they can build yours as well. Call 916-1578 for BMS Builders. It's summer's last hurrah, and at Bostick Sun Furniture, we're ending it in style with three ways to save on the most fashionable looks for your home. Save double the sales tax, plus six months special financing, plus 20% off accessories to complete the look. Change your mattress, change your life. Buy a mattress, get up to 48 months special financing. Plus, visit Facebook and ask about our hot buy store wide. The sun may be setting on summer, but not the savings at Bostick Sun Furniture. Tired and sluggish, down in the dumps, or do you just have the blahs? Well, maybe you need to hydrate. Revive Health and Wellness offers IV hydration, which can help you with lack of energy, improve your mood, assist with immunity, and even fix a hangover. Call today to set up an appointment at 350-1805. Locally owned and operated by Samantha Casper, Revive Health and Wellness has a new location and is ready to serve you. Stop by at 2459 Emerald Place in Greenville or go online at revivehealthwellness.com. Org. Ahoy, mateys, it's Captain Jack Spare of R&R Tire Express. We're here to serve our pirate community by offering easy payments for easy ownership. For you landlubbers, R&R will install a new set of tires for just $20. $50 installs new custom wheels and tires. To learn more about R&R, stop by 3920 US 264 or rnrtires.com. Great food, great atmosphere, and great service is Atavola Market Cafe. Atavola is simply a restaurant that focuses on that, being a great restaurant. There's something for everyone at Atavola. The menu offers a variety of great choices like pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, soups, salads, and seasonal rotating selections. Lunch or dinner, Atavola is always the right call. Call ahead and get Atavola to go, or stop by the bar for a drink with friends. It's simple. Come and eat at Atavola Market Cafe, Red Banks Road next to Food Lion, and AtavolaMarket.com. Atavola, pirates supporting pirates. Hi, this is Phil Steele of Phil Steele's College Football Preview Magazine, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular Fifth Quarter Postgame Call-In Show. Here's Clip Brock. All right, you got a, uh, a call, then get it in now. We got one break left to take here on the U.S. Cellular Fifth Quarter Call-In Show as we go... Late into the evening, A&M up on Miami, 17-6, to 6, as we watch that one. Buccaneer Music Hall School Board presented by Dub Buck. Uh, Billy Weaver had a, uh, a complaint. I also received a text message about this during the game, Weave, uh, about this particular incident at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Yes. So uh, what is your complaint tonight? One of my favorite things about Dowdy Ficklin Stadium and some of the other, some other schools are, are starting to kind of catch on with this and do a similar sort of thing. Living on a Prayer, when they sing, when they play Living on a Prayer, Bon Jovi, uh, the student section really gets into it. The stadium all sings it all together. But they've got to bring the music down, and they always have. Today, for tonight's game, they left the music up, <clears throat> and so you couldn't hear the students in the rest of the stadium singing as much as we would like to. So small little complaint, tiny, but I was like, oh, come on, bring the music down, and they didn't do it. Everybody's got to be on their game. I know. you got to be on your A game, man. Got to be on your A game. David had a question on uh, Facebook asking, is there an in-house DJ for the music? And Morgan uh, Ehlers talked about this yesterday on Pirate Radio Live, Said, and he said the uh, DJ by name. I'm sorry, I don't remember it. But there is a DJ from Still Life who yeah. is uh, 
playing some of the music at the game, and I like it. Chandler and I have gone now back-to-back weeks, and I think they do a good job of keeping the atmosphere up. Yep. And the, the people, like I see the students dancing, but there's mm-hmm. people my age and at, at times Chandler uh, that are dancing as well Yep. in the older people section. So I think it's a fun what, what, atmosphere. What do you mean the older people section? Are you, are, what do you mean older people? Uh, like, like me. Like how old? Um, like me old? Is that what you're trying to say? That's what I'm trying to, trying to figure out. Am, am I in that category? Are you fitty? Oh, yeah. I'm always you old. <sighs> I'm all, you I'm, old, Weave. I'm always going to get down to Yin Yang Twins and uh, <laughs> wipe me down by Boozy. Boozy. I don't, little, yeah. little boozy, I'm too old for that. Hey, Billy I, and I were just uh, rapping Vanilla Ice during a that's break. That's right. Ice, Ice Baby. That's right. And then I don't know how it got to Ad Spam. <laughs> One way to yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been all over the place. And then we got some Red Hot Chili Peppers from uh, Shirley Rhodes. That's right. Give it away. The new Interception give song. Give it away. So now. you heard it here first from Shirley Rhodes. Randolph is in Greenville. Hello, Randolph. Hey, how you guys doing tonight? Doing Great. good. Um, I'm a friend of Chandler's and Jenny. All right. I'm cool. sorry. <laughs> Sick brag, bro. In fact, I just left Jenny from uh, BW3. Do you know Jenny from the block? Is that how you know her? Anybody catch that reference? I no? did. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, you guys played a good game tonight. Uh, hey, Thanks. It was a, I had 42 I, yeah, yards. I, yeah, I had 18 <laughs> yards receiving. And stuff, but uh, I, I believe you guys going to have an excellent season. I think so. Now, so, you keep uh, saying you guys. Right, right. So who's, who's, who's your team? team? Oh, you're a state guy. Ah, okay. I am a state guy. Well, hey, shout out to state. Uh, got Texas Tech at home tonight, took care of business. So, uh, the Wolfpack yeah. win again. Yeah, they did. And, and, Randolph, what do you want Troy to qu- quit talking about? Uh, I want him to quit talking about the uh, 91. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beach Bowl team? I, I was stationed in Kansas at the time. I'm proud of military. And uh, I was stationed in Kansas. I was at a friend's house, and they said, well, you from North Carolina? I said, yeah. They said, ECU and Eastern State playing. I'm like, okay. And and next thing I know, when I moved back here, I got out of the military, and I was listening to you guys on the radio all the time, and then Troy D, is all he was talking about, the pieces. I'm like, dude. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let he it go. Troy D almost made Randolph sign up for another war just to get out of here, just to stop hearing about the dang peach ball. Hey, Randolph, just before anything else, thank you for your service. Absolutely. I, I appreciate it, man. But, y'all, I think you guys are going to have a great season. And uh, I, it won't be surprising that you guys uh, play for the uh, championship this year. Yeah. I mean, look, it, it, it's a possibility, and we haven't been able to say that in a while. Would so. you like to see NC State and ECU in a bowl game? <laughs> sure. Well, how about Again, the Peach Bowl? So that way we don't have to – yeah, what if, what if it was the Peach Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's what killing me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Randolph, thanks for calling, man. All right, man. Y'all have a good season, man. Appreciate Thank you. Y'all take care. Thanks, you. Hi, Randolph. Good See guy, buddy. that Randolph. He is a great guy. I say congrats to State. He said congrats to us. There you I go. Say, look, we're we're building bridges here. There you go. Randolph's building bridges. Really good dude. Uh, Troy D says Travis is the DJ from Still Life. Travis. And it is. And you uh, know what? It's hey, Troy's buddy. Shout out to whoever put the Still Life commercial together that runs on the video board too. It's really cool. The question is, has Troy touched Travis? Has he touched Travis? Uh, I'm going to say the answer is yes to that. What? Troy has a touch list. He touches celebrities. He's touched you. Don't act like you're confused. But I'm not a celebrity. You've touched Troy a lot of times. Stop it. Uh, Am I being, am I wrong? Like, yeah. Fist bump. I'm touching you right now. Yeah, don't make it weird. I'm not. You are. He, he makes a point to point out. Yeah. That he has touched said celebrities. Which is you know, weird he's, because he's like germaphobe. I, it is weird. In fact, uh, can which, I share which some? Which is why I bring it up. Right, right. Can I share something from a fan told me in the stands today about Troy? Oh, goodness. Oh. Well, Troy's not here. I guess I can. He was. Uh, hey, he'll never hear this. The famous, uh, another celebrity, <laughs> internet troll Redbeard. I saw Redbeard. Said, uh, hey, man, Troy just rolled by and uh, he's feeling good, ain't he? He hugged me. Troy, I thought he was a germaphobe. He's up here hugging me in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True story. But it's just like anything else. He'll tell you, I'm not a cupcake guy, or I'm not a cake guy, as he was eating was the fourth say? slice of cake for her say, birthday. What did he say last week that he wasn't a rib guy, remember? Yep. I'm yeah, not a rib yeah. guy, but I'm I not a, like 20 ribs. No, no, no. The, the line was, I'm not a rib guy, but I'm not anti-rib either. <laughs> 
What the hell's that? But we celebrated your 20th year here, and he, we got cake. I, He's God, like, I'm not a cake, cake guy, cake. but I, he ate like four or five slices of the cake. Not a I cake guy. I got half a cake to bring home. I'm All a right. germaphobe, but I'm going to hug you and touch you. I'm going to read something <laughs> from Troy, word for oh, word. No. Oh, oh, no. I don't You're in trouble. I don't want anybody to respond. I just want to go right to break. <laughs> okay. Can y'all promise me that? We're yeah. going straight to break. Shall I'm, I play the bumper music yeah, as you ahead. read it? I'm going to okay. say a word for word as it's written. <laughs> nobody say anything, and we're going to go to break. Uh, he's talking about the DJ from Still Life. Troy says, Travis is a fraternity brother of mine. We have touched many times. <laughs> Hello, Pirate Nation. This is Jamie Cuccinella, inviting you and your family to come by Cuccinella's Pizzeria and Italian Ice. Cuccinella's has been serving our special family recipe, New York-style pizza, since 1932. We think you'll taste the difference in just one bite. When you come in for a pie, don't forget to try our house-made Italian ice or gelato. We make small batches every day from scratch with all fresh ingredients. Cuccinella's on Old Tar Road in Winterville and a new location coming soon to Uptown Green. Come and explore great shopping in downtown Washington at Naughty Life. Hi, this is Gina from Naughty Life, and new fall merchandise is arriving every day, featuring all the new Yeti products, like the loadout buckets and waterproof dry duffel bags. We have new fall clothes for men, women, and children. At Naughty Life, we have something perfect for any occasion, like new jewelry and a great selection of sunglasses from Costa Reflect and RCI. Visit Naughty Life on Main Street in historic downtown Washington and like us on Instagram and Facebook. Hey, I'm Holt Nailers. No one knows better than me how important it is as a quarterback to have protection on the field to be successful. My frontline team is critical to my success. For your frontline insurance protection, you need the team at Buck Insurance Agency. Buck Insurance Agency is your local team and have been helping customers like you for over 30 years with their insurance needs. When you need insurance protection, you'll get the whole team with Brian Buck and his staff. Call toll-free at 877-357-1966. Go Pirates. Are you looking for a home loan? Look no further than Amy Goss at Guild Mortgage. Since 1960, Guild Mortgage has partnered with industry professionals to close loans on time and help millions of Americans realize their dreams. Call Amy Goss at Guild Mortgage in Jacksonville, 910-389-4602. Amy Goss is licensed in Florida, Georgia, Maine, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. Guild Mortgage Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS 3274. NMLSconsumeraccess.org forward slash for licensing information. Please visit guildmortgage.com forward slash licensing. Guild Mortgage is not affiliated with Pirate Radio. Hi, this is Jeff Charles for my friends at Ed Watkins Marine. I've known Ed personally for years, covering his winning performances on the football field and on NASCAR's pit road. Now Ed is winning on the water, and you get to win too. You win with awesome prices on boats from Ed Watkins Marine. And, of course, great service after the sale. If you're looking for a new boat, contact Ed Watkins Marine today. They will deliver anywhere. Find them online at edwatkinsmarine.com and tell them The Voice sent you. Wings Over Delivers. Wings Over Delivers. Wings Over Delivers. If you're looking for wings to be delivered to your home, Wings Over Greenville has you covered with no third party needed. Wings Over Greenville has its own in-house delivery service. Be sure to try the all-new tender sandwiches by ordering ahead on the Wings Over mobile app. Open till 3 a.m. on Friday and Saturday, Wings Over has everything to cure those late night munchies. Give them a call at 758-9464. Wings Over Greenville. They deliver. Are you looking for a home loan? Look no further than Amy Goss at Guild Mortgage. Since 1960, Guild Mortgage has partnered with industry professionals to close loans on time and help millions of Americans realize their dreams. Call Amy Goss at Guild Mortgage in Jacksonville, 910-389-4602. Amy Goss is licensed in Florida, Georgia, Maine, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. Guild Mortgage Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS 3274. NMLSconsumeraccess.org forward slash for licensing information. Please visit guildmortgage.com forward slash licensing. Guild Mortgage is not affiliated with Pirate Ray. This is Zach Agnos, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to the U.S. Cellular fifth quarter postgame call-in show. Here's Clip Brock. All right, last call for your calls, 317-1250, getting ready for NFL Sunday. The uh, clock will hit Sunday in about 18 minutes. We got a triple header of action coming your way. 
on Sunday. And then uh, Monday night, there's two Monday night games this week, Weave. I like uh, that. Titans, Bills, and Eagles and Vikings. Did you watch the Thursday night game on Prime? I did. I did, too. What would you think of the uh, broadcast? Uh, so I saw people complain. For me, it went flawless. I thought it was great. And it was, like, crisp. Like, it was a good broadcast. Uh, we also said that Al Michaels and Herb Street best in the game because it sounded like they've been doing games forever. Well, me. I mean, Al Michaels has been. And I'm Herb, saying as a duo. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they they meshed well together. What you, would you think of the get up from uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick? Now, I did not see that part. Was that pr- halftime pre- and pregame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see any of that. Wow, you should so, uh, try and Google what he was wearing. He just, <laughs> my wife was like, who is that, and what has he got on? I remember I saw some of I was Richard like, yeah, that's, our, that's our former quarterback. <laughs> Richard Sherman was up there, right? Yeah, there's, uh, they, they're there. To, no, that's not it. That's not I do like that. Hawaiian yeah. shirt. No, that was he was in a suit, but it was a crazy suit. Uh, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Uh, all right, last call for your calls, 317-1250. And uh, Pirates win it over the Campbell Fighting Camels up next. Uh, we got a lot of questions to ask the players and coaches this week about that uh, vaunted option offense weave. It's an East Carolina Navy date and uh, always tough. Pirates yeah. were able to eke out a win last year. But wins have been tough to come by against that Navy team. They have been. And, you know, it's it's going to be a long day no matter what because it's it's tough football. Um, you know, those those triple option teams, they know how to run it. That's why they run it. They, um, you know, they've been doing it for a long time. And if you're not prepared for it, if you're not ready, and if you if you are a program that doesn't at least sprinkle in some of that during the off season, yeah. during fall workouts, you're going to get bit. And that's the good thing. Blake Harrell knows that. He's played against it. He's coached against it. Um, He's seen it his entire career. So he knows what to expect. And let me stop you before you say Navy lost to Delaware. They stink this year. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I don't care who they lost to. It doesn't matter. They're going to come in here. We've seen it too many times before. Uh, I'm not going to take them lightly. It doesn't matter if I do or not, but I know the players aren't. And they know they got a tough test. Just look back to last year and that – dog fight we got in uh with navy now i know i should probably know this is this designated as a military appreciation game sometimes it usually is didn't know if there was anything special um love flyovers i know those are hard to get um but i think that's gonna that always adds to the atmosphere i really love that we when... can't even get a damn highway patrolman how we get a flyover <laughs> that was for you caller. that's awesome uh we've you're right. Mil- yeah. Because it's usually the military appreciation. Man, I am I say, three for can three I give a tonight? shout out to Billy Weaver? He is on fire tonight, folks. Wow. And I am still upset about that bare naked lady song in American Pie. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I take a lot of pride in knowing dumb stuff that doesn't matter at all. And me getting that wrong, especially being an American Pie guy. I am, uh, that's going to haunt me for a while. I just always remember Jim dancing in his underwear. And at the end of the movie, that's. That's always what I always remember when I hear that song. All I remember is the Blink-182 song, and then I want to say, uh, did the band play um, Simple Minds at a party late in the show? Maybe. I remember that as well. I, uh, but you guys had me going. Like, I really yeah. thought I was crazy. Well, Shirley had I'm my like, back. I appreciate that, Shirley, even though you joined the wrong team. Because I, I, thought, I thought, wait a minute, Bare Naked Ladies. Blink-182, could I be mistaken? Uh, yeah. No, no. We've got it, and uh, he's been on all night. And that wraps up a long day. De- Wait a minute. Damn it, John. John says, before I check out at the grocery store, I always send my wife the last call for your calls text <laughs> before I had to check out. And he said, thanks for that classic hook of a phrase. That's pretty good. There you go. So John, uh, like us, is about to head out. (laughs) Last call for your calls. And uh, we are about to head out here on the fifth quarter. Like check on YouTube, 128. Well done, people. We appreciate that. Um, Um, Really happy about that. Really proud of the people on YouTube. Now the goal for uh, for next week against Navy, we need Facebook to step it up we need to set the bar for facebook to 100 there was around 75 80 ish how about maybe? ricky sanders former washington redskins receiver 83 
83 likes tonight. Ooh, uh, so let's, Ricky let's Sanders. Let's get to 100 next week after the Pirates hopefully beat Navy. All right. Uh, sounds like a plan. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Uh, we had a lot of fun tonight. Chandler, we were just talking about it during the break. We, this is a fun fifth quarter. It has this been is a fun. fun one. So, it's uh, always fun when we win. Yes, sir. And yeah. I'm saying we because I had remember I had 18 yards received. <laughs> you did. Good game for you thank tonight. You, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much to Parkers, to U.S. Sailor for UBE with the stat sheet, Brown and Wood, drive of the game. Orthopedics East Injury Report. We'll check in more on that on Monday and then Tuesday when we talk to Mike Houston and, of course, the Buck for the scoreboard pit electric live line and all of you for chiming in checking in and hanging out with us on a saturday night for shirley Rhodes, chan man weave and the crew here at pirate radio i'm clip brock we'll see you next saturday two o'clock on the bud light pregame tailgate and after the game on the u.s sailor fifth quarter calling show it'll be one week when we see you again God. you have been listening to the u.s <laughs> cellular fifth quarter postgame call-in show join us next time for complete postgame coverage of east carolina football exclusively on pirate